know beautiful people this nigga. This Kev. Yo, we are Games Music Life. This is the Games Music Life Podcast, episode 259, Kev? Uh, close enough, I guess. Is I, it? Think, I think it might be 258, but 259. It's one of them too, man. It'll be on the screen. It'll be on the screen. It'll like, be on the screen. It's one the, of them. That's the beauty of post-production, because I can yes, put it in sir. there after the fact. What's up, man? Hey, man. Chilling out, brother. You yeah. know what I mean? Uh, like, I don't know if it's going to rain, if it's going to be hot, if it's going to be sunny. Uh, like, what's going on? I don't know. It's summer, so I'll take that uh, the rain right now. I didn't... First of all, last night, it was super dark, super bright at like 9.30 at night, and I thought it was... It was yellow. Yes. It was very yellow. So did you find it weird that it was that yellow? Nah, I just figured it was the way the so I'm tired. Was. Like, girl, like, I'm, I'm a dig into you today, honestly. I didn't talk about this before the pod, because <laughs> I like, and we're talking about this because we really want to get into your your mind frame about is this Xbox thing, because I don't, yeah. you you you're a swag artist, bro, and that's one thing I realized about you as we our friendship has grown <laughs> is like you you ask a question knowing the answer. You're gonna be a good parent. That's how I know you're gonna be a good parent yeah. because you'll ask a question like when you said, uh, "Hey, man, have you got your Xbox yet?" And I'm like, I generally at one point thought that you really wanted to know if I got my Xbox. I did. Actually, no, I did. Nah, I did. Nah, no, no because one uh, last podcast you said you were going to get it on Thursday. But right. When we were talking privately, you said it was coming on Wednesday. Yeah. So that's why I was asking. Like, well, hey, no. Did you get it yet? No, you really wanted to ask me because to tell me that you got yours, and that's really what you because you wanted to know like, okay, you haven't got yours yet. I, no, I'm just gonna catch you online. <laughs> no. that, that was my original play. I was just gonna catch you online. Like, hey, man. Yo, when you say like, yeah, they're in the wild out here. I'm like, oh, really? Yeah. yeah. I, and then you say, I can concur and send me the picture. <laughs> <laughs> yours. <laughs> well, we'll get into Xbox later. I, I do. I do got to give Xbox some flowers though. I got to. Got to cut you off. I got some flack as of flowers for him. Yeah. Okay. Cool. Yeah, man. What's go. up with you? What's going on, bro? It's you know just the the life, bro. You know. Yeah. yeah I got a family, not family stuff to go to. Yeah. I got yes. A, I got a party to go to today. Uh-huh. I, I go to uh, the aunt's party today. And yeah. Cart the kids. First of all, going to a party like a a, a grown ups party, and then they say bring the kids. It's literally the most worst thing as a parent that I want to do. Yeah. Because ain't it, no party. It, it's not a party for me. Yeah. I'm on duty. And well, every- also, and it's it's not going to be like a kids party because then no. at least the kids are occupied. Absolutely. You know what I'm saying? It's like yo, I can send them in the bouncy house or do whatever. Yeah. No, they're gonna have like a pool or something, and they're gonna like, oh, now now it's I'm danger. on duty. Yeah. It's very <laughs> dangerous. Now I gotta shower them. Now I gotta wash. I mean, wash them up because we're not at home. Do the littles know how to swim? Yeah, a little bit, but they got a little pool. I mean, they swim in the yeah, I'm, like I'm talking about like I was no. six foot, yeah, get, nah, get down and nah, nah, Yeah, nah, so nah. now you're on duty. Yeah, you yeah. feel me? I'm on duty, man. Yeah. So I'm looking forward to oh, the wait, fact. Do you know how to swim? Yeah, absolutely. Okay. Yeah, yeah. I, I mean, look, you know the tropes. Yeah, everybody in the hood don't know. Like, first of all, I was blessed that my family, we grew up pretty much in Ohio. Uh-huh. Like, even when I say I'm an Eagle fan, like I was just I was born in Camden, New Jersey, so I'm an Eagle fan because of that. Right. Whereas it, in all intents and purposes, I was born, like I'm I'm Ohioan. Right. I just never the only thing I've adopted being in Ohio was being a Buckeye. Although I do root for the Buckeyes, it's y'all Buckeye you hate fans. Buckeye fans. I hate the Buckeye Man, fans. Get on the obnoxious band. No, I'm brother. not, bro, because like, it's, it's good. No, it's not good. See, there like I like some of it, like being realist. Some people who are Buckeye fans aren't realist, but uh-huh. nonetheless, um, yeah, man. So like, I, I'm looking forward to going, eating some good food. Lil Nadir's going, which I'm surprised he's going. Yeah, I'm surprised y'all talked him into that. I didn't talk him into it. He just said he wanted to go. Mm-hmm. So I think it was just he had nothing else going on, and we were the last thing. So he was like, oh, I'll just go with the parents. Wait, wait, okay. So it's Malik. He's on going. a shift. Yeah, he's on duty, so he's Listen. not going down. So yeah, he. But you know what though. Mm. Like nephew, I'm a, I might have to I might have to text you or call you, man. See, like you slack, you had a perfect window of opportunity here. I mean, like you know what I mean. You was gonna have a house to yourself. Now I ain't saying bring nobody over or nothing right, like that because right? I mean the cameras it's oh, yeah. on duty. Like Absolutely. they don't know. Absolutely. But like y'all got a big family. I imagine that it's kind of few and far between where he was just gonna have the house completely to himself. Oh, very much. So, yeah, very very far and few between opportunities that's gonna happen. And he decided that he wanted to go to no disrespect some yeah. old folks party. <laughs> You know what I'm saying? Like, we the old folks. I wouldn't expect him to want to come to my birthday party. You yeah, know what yeah. I'm saying? It's like, if, yo, he, yo, if yo, he was like, yo, Uncle Kevin, I'm not coming to your birthday, I'd be yeah. like, I totally get it. Yeah, you, you'd understand Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah I get it, bro. It's cool. Yeah. I understand. And that goes back to the conversation we was having before podcast, where it's like, <laughs> men just understand more. Yeah. You know, that's just, it's okay. Yeah. We get it. As We understand what it'd be in a teenager, and we kind of can close our eyes and remember that. Yeah. Um. But no, I don't know. But he's he's going, so you know we'll see what happens as far as we at the party. But you know it's in Dayton, so it's an hour away. Yeah, I got you, man. Uh, now the real question I was going to ask mm. you, man: How do you feel about your Father's Day just getting hijacked like this? Oh, you were bro. supposed to be on rest and relaxation. I know. You know what I'm saying? Not having to do nothing you don't want to do. Well, and kicking your feet up. You know what I'm saying? Having everybody cater to what you want. Listen, because it's your because they take the like Mother's Day a whole month that they just take out your life. Father's Day, boy, you gonna be lucky if you get four hours. Listen, 
<laughs> we talk about this every year. Every I think we've we've been doing our pod for a while now, but yeah. I think we've had at least three or four Father's Day podcasts at this point, right? Yeah. And it's literally the same conversation every year, which is Father's Day is forgotten. Okay. It, it ain't that. It's like, man, uh, the more and more that we uh we get through these Father's Day episodes, the more and more the disrespect <laughs> <laughs> that we you know, uncover on this podcast. Absolutely. But here okay, if you're a father and on Father's Day you get on the grill, you lost. All right. <laughs> I'm gonna tell you right now. I, and one year I did do that. One year I don't know how it happened. You know, the cue is relaxation. Now. It is sometimes. Yeah. But like when it's like, okay, it's Father's Day and next thing I know it's it's hot outside yeah. and I'm I'm on the grill and like sweating and then having to go in the house, take a shower, and then I'm like, yo, I don't wanna do this. <laughs> now you beat down yeah, everybody want, else eating I, the food. I, exactly. I'm like, yeah, I wanna yeah. go to sleep. I'm gonna play the, play my uh my game or something. Now see what I would imagine is it's like, yo, it's Father's Day, they got you out on the grill, you cooking. Uh-huh. Now the little kids they wanna be outside, they running around, they, they you know what I'm saying, they yacking your head off, they fighting each other, you breaking yeah, up man. fights on the grill. Yes. And it's like, bruh, what happened? <laughs> like yeah, like man, y'all out here testing my mind as a father. <laughs> is that what this is? Right. It's a show of strength. Absolutely. <laughs> I, I don't I don't get it, man. And like now with technology that goes on. <laughs> I don't with, know they be coming in dirt. Bro, it is. It's literally like it's to the point where I don't make eye contact. Because then they're gonna ask me for something. I'm like a father's day I get one day. I can just no. chill out. Father's Day is now we here to prove how much <laughs> Listen, you the, are. <laughs> you repairing stuff, so <laughs> you cooking up the grill, <laughs> you breaking up fights, you lifting furniture. <laughs> Dixon Wi Fi. Uh, uh, you're like, right. I, I don't want to do it, man. Like, it's, it's a lot of pressures. But no, oh, Shri asked me too. She's like, "What do you want to do for Father's Day?" I'm like, "Nothing." Right. Relax. Absolutely nothing. Like, and like, I, I, one thing I have drilled home with my family is, um, is that they feel the things that I want to do. I've real. I've told them like I don't. I appreciate the gesture, yeah. but like getting everybody together and going out for my birthday or going for Father's Day is really not to me Father's Day. Cause yeah. it, it's like I, I don't want to do it. I just want. I rather be say that career. money. That's how I feel better. Yeah, say the money. Say that money. Yeah. You know what? Uh, you uh, what I'm also starting to realize too is it's like you know, for Mother's Day, why is it acceptable for Mother's Day that it's like yo, you can send the mom out, let her have a spa day because you know she's so busy. We ask her for so much. She does so much. She she should have some time away to just yeah. rest and relax and uh-huh. you know what I'm saying uh, recuperate. Mm-hmm. Let you ask for some time away <laughs> for Father's Day. The offense that's going to come. So I finally realized this podcast is our spa day. Yeah, it is. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> like, it's, it's our own getaway. Yeah, exactly. Absolutely, man. No, you're absolutely right. That's facts, man. Oh. I don't know, but every year we had this conversation about Father's Day being the forgotten day. And it's like, yo, dad don't want to do nothing. I'm going to tell y'all, y'all might not want to hear this, but listen, dad don't want to do nothing. Right. He doesn't want to He don't want to get everybody together and have a cookout. Guess what? He's probably going to have to be He's not hanging grill. out with y'all. Like, man, let's <laughs> I want to go, you know what I'm saying, shoot some golf and drink whiskey and smoke a cigar with Absolutely. the boys. Absolutely. You know what I'm saying, like the good old days. Yeah. So now, I mean, we are, now we got Juneteenth is a holiday. So that's kind of hijacking Father's Day uh, weekend. Yeah, you know, I don't know. Like, I don't, I'm, I'm happy. I don't like, want to take this. You know what? Like, we've been celebrating Juneteenth for, uh, for a while. Like, yeah. I, I know me and my wife have been celebrating for over 10 years. You know, something that we at least try to observe or, you know, we recognize when it happens. And I, even the city of Columbus or whatever, man, they used to have that Juneteenth festival. Yep. You know what I mean? It was a lot of good stuff surrounding it. And it was just kind of one of those things, if you know, you know. Right. Now, with it being a federal holiday, it's like, man, what are, you, what are the rest of y'all about to do on Juneteenth? Here's my question. Is what are you going to do when someone wishes you happy Juneteenth that's not black? Yeah, like, you know what I'm saying? That's pressure. <laughs> it's like, what what you trying to say exactly? <laughs> you know I thought saying? about this. Yeah. Like, do I say thank you? Yeah. Do I say, like, oh. Like, <laughs> Think about think about Malik having to work on Juneteenth. Like it, it, you know, says a nasty situation. It's very nasty. Yeah, you know I mean, I don't know how to react, and that's and that's my my thought on it. When I like, I'm not the guy to go to for like trying to get the political correct answers when it no. comes to racial stuff, which is I've tried to kind of be a lot better about it. But I'm also the guy that can potentially be the person that's going to tell you about yourself during that asking me of it. So I try to just remove myself from it. So when you tell somebody Happy Juneteenth and they're not black. Or even if somebody does black ask me, like, hey, happy Juneteenth, I guess I can understand that one. But I don't know how to react yet, Kev. Yeah. Like, I don't know how I'm going to re- respond to that. Like, it kind of goes back to I'm, when... I'm, I'm going to just ask, like, well, what's so happy see, about see, it, See, huh? that's exactly what you can do. Break it down. Now, I, know, I know, I know, I know Blair, you. what you so excited yeah, like, about? Why are you pressing my line about that? Right, like, you, so, you happy about my freedom? <laughs> hmm? Let's talk about it. And see, I knew you was going to give that answer, too. <laughs> but it kind of goes back to, like, when everything was happening during the summer... And uh, and somebody would just just randomly text me like I'm sorry, 
Like, oh god! Like, like, <laughs> <laughs> like I didn't yeah, know how to take it. Like that was a very weird time. That was a very that weird, was a very time. weird like, time. And Sharita would kind of navigate me through that water. It's like, hey, look at this silver lining, get it? And like, I'm like, nah. Why are they saying sorry? What are they sorry for? Right. Like, I, and I would ask, like, well, what are you sorry about? You know, like, yeah, oh, yeah, you press that line. Yeah, I have to. Yeah. Cause I don't know, like, you just because to me it just seemed like it was like the right thing to do. Yeah, you know, it's like just say nothing. Well, it's cool. you know what though? Like, I mean, uh, man, listen, we really going there. I, I this know. Is gonna be a fun. This is gonna be a fun filled <laughs> podcast. But it's like, yo, listen, just texting whatever black people in your phone is not appropriate. That's not appropriate. No. I'm, I'm here to tell you right now that is not appropriate. It's like, man, no. just you know what I mean? Just reach out to a black person. No, no, listen, I do appreciate when stuff will be going on and it would be kind of heavy. With me personally. Okay, with me, okay, with me no, personally. No, I'm saying, like, yes, if something is going on with me personally, yes. that's fine. Yes. But, like, don't make me your coverall for black issues. Yes, exactly. <laughs> like, <laughs> I don't know you like that. Well, we, as a collective agreement <laughs> together, and we don't need you. you right, know exactly. Like, like, just, just sit that one out. Yeah, you just, know, just sit back. Wait for, we'll signal. Listen, we'll signal when we want we're you not, We're not going to take it personal if you don't say anything. <laughs> yeah, you right. You know, like, I, would, I wouldn't, not like, oh, I didn't hear from such and such, and they didn't check on us. It's like, I get it, man. It's a tough. It's not really tough for y'all. Or better yet, go go check them other ones. Go, yeah. You know what I'm saying? Don't don't check nah. on me. Go check the people that you know ain't living right, ain't thinking right, man. You know what I'm saying? Go let them know that you ain't all right with that. Because texting me, asking me if I'm okay and I'm sorry and all that stuff, that's yeah. easy. Bro, that but was... standing up to them other people, standing up to your uncle, you know what I'm saying? <laughs> You know what I'm saying? Now, that's hard. You know what I'm saying? Thanksgiving going to be real awkward this year. But let me know you stand on it, Ock. You know what I'm saying? Yo. Yeah. Yeah, you're retarded, bro. <laughs> Yo, but I didn't understand that, bro. To this day, I still kind of wonder about that. Like, what does that mean? Like, what did that all mean? Like, now I'm confused and I'm hurt. Yeah. But I'm still going through it. I'm seeing stuff on TV that literally hurts my feelings. I'm looking. I'm trying to process this grieving process. And then I get a text message like, I'm sorry. Yeah. Like, I mean, I guess. But Listen, like, you want to let me know that you're sorry? <laughs> Cut grandpa off. How about that? Let grandma know you don't rock with her no more. <laughs> Ain't no more apple pies around here. And we Ooh. don't and we don't like uh we don't like um uh what's it called? Pumpkin pie either. Like yeah. stop. We don't like pumpkin pie. No, nah, man, we don't like <laughs> oppression and racism. That's what we don't like, grandma. You know what I'm saying? I ain't standing for it. I remember how you treated Lamar when I brought him around here. You know what I'm saying? You told me not uh, to let him in the back room. Yo. Keep your eye out on him. Whose grandma are you talking about, fam? Like, who theirs. <laughs> nah. You know who the one. You know what I'm saying? Lamar. <laughs> Why can't be Lamar, though? <laughs> Stereotypical African-American name. <laughs> yo. You're retarded. But no, those are all facts. The, you know what I'm saying? This, those are, these are the raw facts. Those are all you know facts, saying? bro. Don't come texting me that you're sorry. Yeah, I don't man. like it, man. You know what I'm saying? Let grandpa know you ain't standing for that no more. You ain't right. rocking with it. <laughs> Word. You know what I mean? Um, but yeah, besides that, bro, everything's good with me. Um, <laughs> <laughs> nothing else is going on, you know? Right. Just living a life, keeping my head low. Yeah. And Happy yeah. Juneteenth, everyone. Happy Juneteenth, everybody. Um, you know, application launched. Yeah, um, man. Congratulations, man. Appreciate Get it, around bro. Applause, man. Get the kid, kid. Right, yeah, right I will. I will. I will. Right I right it going, man. It kind of yes. snuck up on us, man. Apple is... It did. Apple is, uh, <laughs> they, they, we do, uh, yeah, do our own thing. Yeah, yeah, okay? yeah, yeah. Y'all do your own thing, bro. Yeah. The process is long, and then one day it was like, yeah, go, it's button. approved. Let's go, let's go. Yeah. And I'm yeah. like, what? I googled it. First thing came up. So yeah, I'll put it in the description. Baller's list is is live. Check it out. It's early. Give us your feedback, and uh, yeah, we'll go from there. But uh, other than that, man, the cicadas are dying. Um, happy about that. Almost got attacked while I was out there. Y'all gotta get that front yard together too, bro. It ain't ours. Whatever. Yeah. Get, go get some <laughs> it scissors. To them, I know, I understand. But <laughs> just get some, get some scissors. Because when I come over, bro, the cicadas are right there. Yeah, that and bush. Your yeah, bad. You that, gotta run. They in there thick. Yeah. Now, well, I can run because I knock on the door. They what? Run away? Uh, yeah. Man. Okay, listen, that's what I have to I do. Get, then. Uh, you, uh, listen, just text me. When, text me when you're in your car. You here? I just unlock the door. You can do what we do. Okay, yeah, yeah. Dart in the house. That's what I'm about to do then. Yeah. Because it wasn't safe. I knocked on that door and I was like, I don't feel comfortable. Yeah, nah. And then I picked up your. You had a package on the front yard. And I'm like, dang, is the K does I need the package? It was a big package, little package. It's a little package, bro. Okay. It was for it was to the wife, man. It might be for you. So just relax. I'm saying, it probably is. I'm saying. Nah, I, I'm, hey, look, I'm trying to figure it out. I, no, you're not. See, that, I'm see, particularly careful. Now, see, you know, this is gonna be the Nadir Nadir in the Kev podcast pause because I literally I tell you all the time it's Kevisms, bro. Trying to figure it out, and a lot of it is, I think a lot of things in life we always have are in the back of our brain, being that kid again. And you have that to where you want to know every gift that you're getting. Yeah. You can't know, Kev. People want to do not, <laughs> no. You literally found your video card because you were nosy. Yeah, yeah. You know? Don't hide things from me. Don't hide things from me. Listen, gift, gift giving time was over. <laughs> you know what I mean? Yo, when you when you try to rationalize this saying it's your gift, 
So you should have a you should have uh, carte blanche to go search for your gift, even though no, I was giving it. No, no, thing. you were going to you were looking for it because it was for I wasn't you. looking for it. I, I stumbled across it, but once I found it, I'm like, see, Yo, there it goes. That's what I'm saying. It's <laughs> over with now. Like you know, what I'm saying, ain't no ain't no more surprise. No, nah, let me have it's it. It's still a surprise. You didn't know. All right, I didn't know until I stumbled upon it. Yeah. Like, see, to me, it's like, yo. You went looking, though. I didn't go looking. I was actually cleaning up. Uh, oh. And uh, it was it was in a Nike box. And I mean, you know, like, yeah. that's my resale room. So right. I'm like, what Like what? What am I selling that's in this box? I don't remember this box. I'm like, oh, it's a package in a package. Yeah. And then I read it. I'm like, this is yeah. for me. This is for you. Yeah. you. But you knew that, though. And you know our wives. No, I knew it when I read it. I didn't know. Like, I thought maybe we just forgot a Christmas gift. Yeah, okay. Yeah. Like, you, you still holding on to that lie, bro. No, that's the truth. That's not the truth. That Kev. is the truth. You thought it was for some another Christmas gift that y'all didn't. Get. Well, y'all do give a lot of Christmas gifts, so yeah, I, I yeah, give you yeah. that. You're right. Yeah, I, I, I thought maybe we just forgot something. Y'all gotta stop that, <laughs> yeah. brother. You talking the wrong one. You talking the wrong. This is our one. therapy once again, bro. She's gonna see it. We can, you know, this be our way of <laughs> talking about. Because I'm saying it too, babe. All right, wife. You know, I love Listen, you. I'll be like me, her. My parents get something little. <laughs> yeah. And then the kids, like, yeah. and I'm talking like little kids. Yeah. Like, when kids get, I mean, listen, once you get to be about eight, it's over with. Yeah, you know birthday's what I'm over. You, once you don't want, like, uh, uh, action figures or cars or robots or whatever it is. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Gifts that are $20 and under, yeah. you're done. Yeah. You're done. Once, you want video games? Get a job. That's a get. Yeah, you can't get it. It's like a little <laughs> here. He came to my room the other day and said, oh, man, this Xbox looks good. I said, yeah, it does. It does. They keep you know? grubby little things off Absolutely. Mine. Don't touch it either. Yeah, you got one yeah. for yourself. And you will never see it. And you're this. welcome. Yeah. <laughs> you want one? Summer's here. Right. All right. Go, go, go work. <laughs> go get your job. Because my thing is that like, at the gifts like that, as a dad, excuse me, I'll go half with you. If you say to me, if you, if any of my kids, my kids know this, if I tell them, like, yo, if you come to me, like, yo, I got the gift is $600, I got $350. Dad, uh -huh. can you help me? I got 100 on it. You know what I'm saying? Yeah, I got I can something. Help you. I can get you there. I'll get you there, but I'm not putting the whole hundred, hundred, three, five ninety nine for it. See, because uh, I work. You see, don't. for me, uh, my theory has always been you got to earn it. And yeah. I don't know, even since I was little, I, it was kind of like it was one of those things with me. It's like, yo, listen, I got to earn it. Every time I get, I got to earn. Yeah. yeah. And uh, now there will be sometimes where I'm like, listen, I'm gonna earn this. Mm -hmm. And my parents didn't necessarily agree to that. I'm like, no, no, no. Listen, <laughs> I went above and beyond. <laughs> so. <laughs> Let's make this happen now. You still say, <laughs> what's that console you bought? What's one console uh, you bought? The PlayStation. Right? PlayStation. Yeah, I bought, uh, bought the PlayStation, but, uh, sort of. Yeah, but uh, yeah, yeah, yeah. no, just yeah. everything. Like uh, uh, one day I get my dad back on here, man. He tell a story about Siphon Filter. Like, listen, I pressed this man's line really? for a solid three months for that game. Really? Yes. I like every time he said anything to me, I was like, listen, sir. <laughs> unless we we're going to that store, go buy Siphon Filter. I don't want to hear it. So hold on, was Siphon Filter already out, or was about yeah, to it was come out. out? No, it was out. So also it was already out. Yeah, it, it wasn't like today. You know yeah. what I'm saying? Where it's like, you know, it, like I, I didn't even know what the game looked like. I just saw something about it. I was like, this game looks dope. I got to play it. Yeah. And so I, now I want this. Uh -huh. And but doggone it, I was gonna do whatever it took. I got you. You know what I mean? I got so you. but so it's like, man, my grades, they together. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? <laughs> my chores, done. <laughs> On the up and up, my behavior. <laughs> Through the roof, man. Yeah. We doing real good. And maybe he might maybe he might have just been milking this. Like, he really want this game. Uh -huh. I ain't agreed to buy him Jack. <laughs> but he doing real good. I'm yeah. going to see how long I can drag this out. Uh -huh. But then I just started pressing his line to the point where my mom was finally like, listen, just go buy that damn game for everyone. <laughs> <laughs> you know I'm, I'm sick of hearing about it. <laughs> if I know the name of a video game, it'd have gone too far. Yeah. You know what I mean? Now, when you were younger, Thanks, did y'all, did y'all, did, did your mom and dad trade your old games in for new games? No. Okay. Absolutely not. Yeah, you gotta have to do that hustle quick. Yeah, I hated that. That's why I hate GameStop to this day. I hate that. <laughs> I hate them, bro. I see a kid. I never did it, but I see a kid come in with like a whole bunch of games. Like, yeah, I get three dollars. Yeah, like, right. Damn, this dude got like a thousand dollars worth of stuff here. You get like seven bucks. Yeah. So I was happy that GME happened. <laughs> but anyways, man, ain't nothing else going on, bro. It's hot. It's it's gonna get hotter today. Um, but I do appreciate <laughs> summers here. Um, you going? You going out today? Yeah. Where you there going? Go out, man. We're gonna go do the Father's Day thing. Oh, that's right. You gotta see yeah. that. Yeah. yeah, that's. I mean, it sucks. I can't see my dad for Father's Day, but I get to just see my dad. Just saw him a couple weeks ago. I did. He understands. He do. Yeah, yeah, that, yeah. Dad, yeah, you know what I'm saying? Dad yeah. get it. Your dad gets it. Yeah. Dad understands that. Those are my kids. Like Amaya was saying, like Dad, I'm not gonna make it home and go into a party uh, tomorrow, so I'm not gonna make it home for Father's Day. And I'm more than mind you, but Mother's Day. You going to a party? And yeah, I'm offended. Yeah, mom been offended. <laughs> now, see me? I'm like, yeah, I get it. Right. You know, I'll see you, see you next weekend. No, no, no. Listen. Press day line. Nah, uh -uh. press day line. No, my only just for your own entertainment. No, my only gripe with with Father's Day, like I tell the kids, don't buy me things that you think I'm gonna like, or do you think oh, yeah, that, do that you're just doing it because it's the perusal get a dad a gift. If I ever got a Jordan Cologne kit from one of my kids, they might not be my kid no more. I'll be honest <laughs> with you. I'll be I'll be arguing them. I was like, get me stuff that I like. And ever since I had that
You know, I like that yeah, word tchotchke. I don't good. know what that means, but I just like using it. Yeah, they. I don't know, man. Yeah, yeah. I don't know. Just roll with Jonian. it. Yeah. Well, who? Uh, or was it Potsy? I don't know. Yeah. A method man said it. Did he? Yeah, he did. Okay. <laughs> yeah. I need some more mambo sauce too. You got a big drum. Um, uh, now, brother, we are gonna have a conversation about that. Let's listen, guys, listen. That, that first taste was free. I'm uh, just saying, bro. I'm putting, <laughs> I'm putting it on everything. I know. I'm like, listen. I, I know them, them drums go quick, bro. Yeah, I know. I know, how much I know is this the little squirt bottle? It go fast. How brother. much is that? Huh? I don't know. My dad be? gave it to me. Okay, I don't know. Cool. He accidentally had it on uh, auto or auto ship. So and, hold on, uh, he buys he buys it like that. Yeah, really. He ain't I'm, got I'm, time to play. I was gonna put it on cereal. Like that's what I said. I'm gonna put it on everything. Might not be bad, bro. I had yeah. it on my it's, 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 the, it's, the, it's the perfect taste of hot and sweet. Yeah, and that's what I'm saying. Like and it I, just goes on everything. Like I'm eating stuff I never thought I'd eat again. Like yeah. I had a I had a fistful of tater tots the other day. You know why I ate them? Because they had mama mama sauce on them. You know what the funny thing is? It's actually for chicken. Really? Yeah, but it's like it just works on everything, bro. Yeah, yeah, I love it. I love yeah, it. Yeah, it's it's uh, it's actually a, a sauce from the Chinese places in DC. So like when you get uh, your your chicken and rice, your fried chicken and rice, you know the four wings with the fried rice. What? The mambo sauce is what comes with that typically. What? So the Chinese people make barbecue. I know it's not barbecue sauce. What is it? It is mambo sauce. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? But it's it's really not barbecue sauce. It's really it's literally meant for you to dip the chicken wings in. Really? Yeah. I love y'all. Yeah, yeah I don't yeah. listen. I, I remember back in like 05, my homie coming back, he was going to Howard, and mm. he came back and was like, yo, listen, the greatest thing going on, he's like, listen, first of all, <laughs> Howard sucks. He was like, man, listen, there's violence everywhere. We are in the middle of the ghetto. And you know what I'm saying? Shout out to my HBCUs. This is no, not, no discouragement from uh, attending the HBCUs, but it was a culture shock for my man. Uh-huh. But he was like, yo, listen, if there was one thing I could take away uh-huh. from, uh, from living in D.C., that damn mambo sauce. Really? And so I heard about it like years before. And then, uh, and then one day I saw that it was a uh, it was like Target was carrying it for Black History Month. I was like, "That's oh, wow. racism." <laughs> that is racism. But, uh, <laughs> well, well, actually, we're gonna take this full circle. Go ahead. All right, so I'm like, okay, so I pop on over to the Target, man. I pick some up. I'm like, man, just see what this is about, man. I tasted it that day. I was like, listen, I'm going back immediately. <laughs> and I, I gotta buy the rest. <laughs> okay. That's what it did. Okay. So I went back and I bought the rest or whatever. And then I was telling my dad about it. I'm like, yo, listen, this stuff, it hit. Mm-hmm. It's, like, it's like that. He's like, man, what, what are you talking about, man? You don't know nothing about nothing, boy. Uh-huh. You know what I'm saying? You ain't lived long enough to know nothing about nothing, boy. If it was going to be some good sauce, I lived in D.C. <laughs> I don't know good sauce if I tasted it now. You know what I'm saying? Long story short, I took him a bottle begrudgingly because I'm like, I was, I was dwindling down on my supply. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? <laughs> kind of like you wanted to serve the meal yet last week. No, no, no. Yeah, serving the meal is not a thing. <laughs> Go ahead. But the mambo sauce, I can serve it. <laughs> I can serve that you mambo. You just got to like, put a hard stop on like, it, Listen, too. man, you, you're, you're a fight about that mambo. <laughs> but uh, I took my daddy a bottle. Uh, next thing I know, he ordering it from Amazon. He like, yeah. oh, I got to have more of this. You said he got an auto order. Right. Well, he was ordering the bottle. Like, how I gave you a bottle of it, uh-huh. he was ordering those <laughs> bottles. Well, eventually, they, like, they were going through them bottles too quick, so he just started ordering the gallons. <laughs> and then next thing you know, he had the, the gallons on auto ship, and then uh, I guess he kind of got to the point where he's like, well, I got too much now. Uh-huh. So he's like, well, here, just take this gallon. I'm like, you ain't got to threaten me with right. a good time player. Right, right. <laughs> he was like, make sure you get some of the ADR. And that's what I did. Yeah, okay. That's what I did. You did. Yeah. It took us a week to get it, because like, I, you made it, and I forgot it. Yeah, and I know. It just proves our watch No, listen, what makes that so funny? Uh-huh. And first of all, I thought you would have forgot about it, but no, you came out, you was like, you know what? I forgot that mambo sauce. <laughs> I remember you been talking that up. <laughs> like, well, I'll, I'll, listen, I'll, you had another week. I'll crack into that one. You just want to put it back? Huh? It was, it was in the refrigerator the whole time. Yeah, you were. You did pull it out from the yeah, stash. But yeah, but listen, I had a second bottle full. Yeah. And you forgot about that. that, that, that bottle. One more week that it went back into the rotation? It, it might have. Listen, uh, you tasted it. Get up, bro. You, t- <laughs> can. Like, you can I'm, see how it goes fast, it's right? Not, it's not a lot of things. Like, I mean, I listen to you. Okay, let's say that. I, <laughs> I do listen to things you say, but bro, ain't nothing you said more gospel than that. <laughs> that mambo sauce, I cut, I'm cutting my sandwiches in half now. You know why? To dip it in the mambo. Yeah, listen, uh, listen. It's so rare that like I find something that me and my wife both enjoy equally. Like okay. she eats it on every like, bro. I had it on my breakfast sandwich. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. <laughs> I had it on my my bacon egg and cheese this yeah. morning. I had it on my breakfast sandwich. Uh-huh. And then uh, I'm gonna tell you what really made me hot though is we were watching TV the other day and Target is actually running an ad about them selling mambo sauce in store. Oh wow! And I'm like, yo, listen, y'all making the spot hot. So they commercializing it. Yeah. It's well, hot. I mean, it's like. Uh, th- 
Shout out to uh, Capital City Mambo or whatever. Uh, Capital City, I know that's the name of the brand or whatever. Shout out to them. It is a black-owned business, so okay. I'm always oh, happy dope. to support them. I'm okay. super glad to see them thriving. Okay. But you're making the spot hot. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? Because typically people walk in here, they just see that. So they're like, oh, they ain't thinking nothing of it. Uh-huh. But once you know. Oh, yeah, yeah. Oh, yeah. Trust me. <laughs> when we were sitting there talking, I had no intention of going to Mambo's all. They caught my honesty. Yeah. Mambo, yeah. I need more. No, you didn't <laughs> see Mambo. You saw gold. Yeah, I did. I did see gold. <laughs> Liquid gold yeah. over there. It's like on the beacon of, on the map. It's like, dee, 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 dee. Yeah. Gotta get it, man. I'm saying it turn your nuggets upside down, Bruh. man. Listen, you, you go to Wendy's, you be like, man, listen, you don't, you don't even worry about they put sauce in the bag. Like, I won't go eat that anyway. No. You know what I mean? No, <laughs> I, I got marble sauce at the crib. I'm afraid cool. to give it to the kids because I, I don't want it. I don't want it to go it's away. It's going to be gone. It's like, going to be gone. That, that little bottle is going to go quickly. Oh, it's very gone. It's down to like this half. That's why oh. when I came in, I saw it. I need to replenish. Yeah. You know? Well, bring it back. I, I hit you up. I hit I'll probably order my own. I want to order my own because I am going to. Yeah, like, no, listen. I'm, that gallon. Whew. I know. Yeah, listen, yeah. You see, it's this tap. Yeah, it's I tap. see. No, I, I, no, I, I see. I hit the well. You know dog. what you need to do is get a little squirt bottle on that joint. That way you oh, just, just on the big one. Yeah, because <laughs> we got the little cups at home, like the little ones you put in, like you go to yeah, you the go store to a restaurant, or whatever. Yeah, 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 restaurant yeah. there. We got those. So that's what I'm using. Yeah, that's what so I, I do. I need that. I need the drum with the with the squirt bottle. Pause. Yeah, bruh. Yeah, yeah. It's it. like that, brother. Oh man. All right, man. So shoot, let's start like we always do. What we've been playing. What you been playing, bro? Oh man, I've been playing uh, 2K. Okay. If you, I'm gonna tell you what. I'm burning out on 2K a little bit. Are you? I gotta get Luca though. We're, yeah, I gotta get Luca. What level are you now? 39. Okay, see, I'm 38. I'm okay. 38. And uh, I'm going to get Luca. And I want Blake Griffin, too. But I ain't going to lie. It's, it's beating the body. It is. Because they're, they're, the, they're at the end. Yeah, and that's the yeah, thing. We're at the point yeah. where we're, I think we both have the same blueprint. We're buying the cards and selling them. Oh, yeah. And then they're just getting rid of it. And like, I try to oversell them to where I don't get that 10% that 2K charges me, which is no, nasty. I just take the hit now. I just, I, sometimes I just take the hit. I, I got a spreadsheet on my phone now where it's like <laughs> I know how much I get the cards for and I sell them. That yeah. Thorough Bailey, I was the only one I really made profit on. I, I think I bought it for 60 and sold it for like 85 or something. Yeah, see, that's not bad. So you yeah. yourself pretty But good. some of those cards are bizarre. And a like, lot of them are bizarre. Yeah, but the, the Gilbert Arenas one has been good. Yeah. The Thorough Bailey, he's a bully. He dunks on everybody. Really? I only played the one game with him. I, got I, I knew you'd get rid of him. But, yeah, so we, we follow that same blueprint with 2K. But I, I do need to get Invincible Luka, and I do want to get Blake Griffin as well. But yeah. we're at the end of the game, like you said. The new game will be coming out in a couple months. Yeah. Listen, man, uh, they, they need to – man, let them Invincible cars go and fly out these packs now. Quit playing I think they're now. ready to. I think they're – because, like, even with the uh, – my not my – what is it, uh, Triple Threat uh-huh. offline? You can get the a – boards uh, are good, but the, the, the vault never uh, opens now. Listen, the vault opens for me all the time, and I got that Kobe card like seven times. Yeah, bro. And I'm like, I, I'm they just quick quit selling. doing that, Yeah. Man. I get it because I, I get a car and like okay I get a pack I'm about to get a pack and it'd be like a mystery pack or something which is pretty cool but that's just for this weekend. Man, I got that Father's Day pack or whatever and it was Dell Curry. I'm like man, you can get those a couple of times. Listen, stop! I don't yeah. like, stop giving us garbage, man. Yeah. Just give us give us the cards we want, man. Well, they're giving us the cards we want, but they in the wrong form. They gave us that dark matter uh, Nurkic. Who wanted that? Nobody wanted. Nobody have you wanted. Played with that card? Not once. Yeah, I never. He never hit the line. Not, I tell you now, I will say the one that came over the weekend was Elvin Hayes. Elvin Williams, yeah. he's a bully. Is he? He dunks on everybody very hard. You put him okay. and McAdoo in the game, and you there's no rebound you won't get. Really? Yeah, I just use that when I'm doing my shooting ones because they get all the rebounds. I kick it back out. There you go. So um, the Man. the the uh, but yeah, so I'm playing 2K too. There, okay, so well now we can talk about. Oh, are you playing any other games? Yes, Ratchet and Clank. I'm almost oh, done. Oh yeah, yeah, yeah. So I'm when I, I'm all, I'm about 70, 70, 80, I'm about eighty five percent done. Amazing game. Really? I cannot wait to give it to you so you can play it. I know oh, you're not. You're probably not going to. Yeah, pause. <laughs> I know. You're, I'm going to give you the game, game so you can play the game, right? Um, because Insomniac can make a game. <clears throat> Insomniac makes a very good game, bro. You're going to really enjoy it. It's a, it's like watching a cartoon. Is it? Yeah, but I will say though, one thing that I've done um, is I made Kalisa on profile. On, on my PlayStation, Smart. on a PS5. Smart, so she could stop ruining your yes. save games. Yes, bro, because that would be like, no stress in the world would, would be like, okay, my Why daughter. Why is she having fun playing your save games? Like, I don't bro, know. That's only something that a child could really understand. Like, bro, yeah, like. You're not, because like I would try to tell her, like, you're picking it up where you're where I'm at. You don't even know what's going you on. You don't know what's going on. Like, who's this other person? Who's Rivet? Who's, you know what I mean? So she well, would not, not know. Well, then they just ask you. Exactly. Yeah, I'm they're like, they're I'm not the narrator. You know what you can do? <laughs> play your own game. <laughs> right, now, that's one thing itself. I don't like about PlayStation and creating a profile. Because when you create another profile, you got to create a whole other account. Yeah. So you got to create a whole other um, um, you know, namesake, whole other email, all that stuff. So I'm like, dang, as a kid, she would never figure this out. Right. So one thing I do like about it, I give them their flowers with this, though, is when you set it up as a kid profile, because you do have to put in their age, they have to ask the parent for permission to play. Oh, good. So where, like, Ratchet & Clank is considered a
on in a, or an alert on my on the PlayStation oh, app. Okay. I can approve it, and then she boom, she can play. And Does I'll it just do it for each time or just each like time. Oh, no, wow. no, 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 one time. Okay, so if I yeah. say she can play it going forward, no, she'll she never, can play that. She game. can play it going forward. Yeah, so that's like, dope. That's and nice. everything with apps too, like YouTube, because I didn't want. I don't like her being on YouTube. So she sent me a request for YouTube. I kindly declined that. <laughs> no, you know YouTube Kids. Right. Um, but I do like I do um, like that aspect. But no, Ratchet and Clank, bro, you're gonna have a great time with it. Okay. And Somnia can make a game. They literally, it's to the point where I will sit down and play the game, and like it was. First of all, it was so needed because we talk about next gen and how they don't have any games. That is the game I think is probably the the biggest one where I'm so far for me on next gen. I'm like, okay, this makes me happy that next gen is there. Everything else has been kind of like stuff that goes along with like the quick loading with the Xbox. Yeah, that's worth its weight in gold. So yeah, Insomniac man, they can make a good daggone game, bro. So I'm gonna Steve Nash it once we go. Okay. But um, so 2K, I'm putting a button on that. Um, it's I'm, getting, a, I'm just wore out, man. It's like it feels like it? a full time job playing that game. Yeah, I got sleepy at night playing. I was yeah. playing. As a matter of fact, it was with the uh, Lonzo Ball car card. Oh, I, I he can't bar- even shoot that great. No, he cannot. That was a, that was a that was a stretch to do that daggone challenge, and I sold him immediately. Yeah, I got him all the way out there. I can't get Lamelo; he's a little too expensive right now. Yeah, same. So I, I couldn't get him, and I couldn't get uh, Embiid, Invincible Embiid. I couldn't. My get thing him. is, give us more uh, small forwards. Give us elite small forwards that aren't the Invincible cards. Because right now we just got KD and LeBron. They're the elite small forwards, mm. but they're too expensive. We can't afford those. Yeah. But outside of that, like, how many? Dark matter point guards are we gonna get? Like I don't need them. I can't do anything with those cards it's anymore. Small. I can only play one at a time. Yeah, very true. I'm at the point I'm just doing triple threat or doing the domination and beating on those teams to get to get the XP so I can get Luca. And then yeah. I started asking myself though, once I get Luca, what am I gonna do? Yeah, like, that's the that's the real question. It's yeah. like I'm trying to get my team better, and then it's like, well, for what? Yeah, I'm about to be done playing this game. Exactly. Now it will. Because I just got over to next gen. You've been playing on next gen forever. Uh-huh. Um, it is a different experience for me now. I do see the difference in the two. Told you. You know, yeah. like it's a totally different game, man. Like yeah. the quick loading port part of it, like the quick loading, like I can get games done like that. And like the loading portion of it all was like, it's worth it. Yeah, you definitely. know, it's definitely worth it. So speaking of which, we both picked up Xboxes this week. And yeah. I told you, you, you kind of tried to stun on me about yours, but you, <laughs> we both got Xbox. Stepped um, in front of it, but listen, uh, no, my, cause see your Xbox journey was simple and you didn't tell you, boy, you ain't say a word. No. I did. Boy. You asked. You said no, something. No, you, you told s- me when it was too late. Well, I didn't know. You should have told me that morning. Like, hey, Cam, man, the Xbox is they out, bro. I just caught one. Uh-huh. Man, Best Buy, let's go, let's get it. Okay, yeah. Okay. But you told me hours later. I'm sitting. I'm frustrated. I'm upset. I'm angry. <laughs> Best Buy playing games with my emotions. With Tell my me your heart. journey. I forgot about you. Oh, uh, so so okay. So uh, was it this week? Yeah, it was this week, wasn't yeah, it? Huh. Yeah. And then uh, so this week, Tuesday, I see a little message. About uh, the Xboxes are going to be available in store at GameStop, GameStop on Wednesday. Okay. And then mine just came out on Tuesday evening. So okay. I'm like, okay, you know. Uh-huh. Uh, I'm, I'm, so I'm searching around the Twitters and people are posting up like their stores are saying, like, oh man, we, surprisingly, there were more X's than S's finally because yeah. they realized like nobody wants this S. It's no. always sitting around, They're it's all, always yeah. available. Nobody wants it. Nobody wants this console. So uh, we're going to make sure that we're mass producing the X because that's what people actually want. Mm-hmm. So uh, I see people posting around like their stores are getting pretty good inventory. They're getting like 16 consoles, which, you know, for all intents and purposes, that's pretty good. Yeah. And I'm like, it's a Wednesday. Yeah, school is out, but kids don't have 500 plus dollars right. to spend. Right. And, you know, uh, Parents are going to be at work at 8 o'clock in the morning or however, whatever time, 11 o'clock when uh, GameStop opens. I'm like, okay, maybe I have a good shot. Mm-hmm. And uh, so I'm kind of keeping an eye on it Tuesday night and I'm watching, I'm trying to see them. And I'm not seeing a whole lot of chatter about it. I'm not seeing a whole lot of people like posting, you know, people posting up the camp out pictures or whatever. Yeah. And I'm like, okay, cool. <laughs> So I wake up. Uh, I wake up early on Wednesday morning. Complete fluke too. I woke up at like uh, first. I woke up at like five o'clock in the morning. Uh, I wasn't feeling well. I'm like, oh dang. Okay. And uh, so I wake up at like five o'clock in the morning, and now I'm just up. And so about seven thirty, I'm like, you know what? I'm just gonna drive past GameStop real quick. I mean, it's right around the corner from my house. Take me five minutes to do it. Okay. Let me just drive past there. If there's a line, I'm not even gonna bother with this. But if there's not a line, maybe I'll see what it's hitting for. Mm-hmm. So I uh, drive past at seven thirty. I look on the window. There's only four Series X's there, but there's nobody there. Okay. There's no line or anything like and you that. You stood in line. No, I didn't start at seven thirty. I, I, I went back home. Okay. Like, yeah, there wasn't, wasn't no way. Okay. But like, bro, the <laughs> what time idea, did they open? They didn't open till eleven. Oh dang. Okay, never mind. The idea of like being that person sitting in the lawn chair by myself in front of the store. Yeah. Didn't sit right with my spirit. So right. I'm like, nah, ain't nobody here. I'm going home. Yeah. 
So I go back home or whatever, and I'm chilling. I'm like, all right, I'm going to go back up there maybe like 9, 45, 10 o'clock. Mm-hmm. So I get there. I get there about 9, 45, maybe 9, 50. So I get there, and there's only two people standing outside of the store. Mm-hmm. And uh, so I, I pull up on them. I'm like, hey, yo, y'all standing? Like, I, I didn't get out of the car yet. <laughs> I'm like, yo, y'all standing in line for that Xbox? And they're like, yeah, yeah, yeah. I'm like, okay, is it just y'all two, or is, is, uh, do y'all have other people here with you? I was like, no, nah, it's just us. Mm-hmm. I'm like, bet. So, you know what I'm saying? Of course, you know, park. How about the car? I'm standing there. Mind you, you'd have been proud of me. Because okay. like, I actually talked to him. I oh, there, look at you. Okay. Yeah, I got something. <laughs> and, you know what I'm saying? Like, <laughs> They weren't normally the kind of people I hang out. Like, you know, I don't, I don't, I won't put it like that. Listen, I, I hang out with anybody. Like, yeah, right. I, I'm, a, I'm, a, I'm a good guy. Right, right, right. So, uh, but you know, what I'm saying, I'm sitting out there, I'm talking to him or whatever, and so we out there kicking it. Maybe only like, I would say, by the time the door opened, there were maybe six people there. Okay. And there were only there were four X's and two S's. So it's like, if you want one, you could get one. You might not get this X. Because, like, yo, once we got, like, uh, after me, another dude came maybe, like, five minutes later. And so we was the four. We was like, yo, listen, them X's is spoken for. <laughs> you want okay. this S? Cool. Come on, join the line. But listen, when, that, when it comes time to get the tickets, we're going to stand up for each other. Right, I don't right. know you. That is, that is kind of how it happens, too. Yeah. Like, you know, <laughs> you know that is kind of how you kind of bound together. Like, there'll be a brother you have in life for life right now just for this one moment. Like, we're all here together because we'll fight for this. <laughs> <laughs> we'll fight for each other. We're going to make sure us four get this Series X. Absolutely. Believe that. You know what I'm saying? But, uh, That's the, funny how that happens. The funny thing is, though, everybody was super cool. So, like, even the people who came later, uh, cause one of the guys that was in in the in the four the four pack or whatever, he was actually a little bit torn. Okay, and, and one of the guys at towards the back line, he was like five or six in line. He was like, uh, you know, I'll just take whatever y'all don't want. Uh-huh. You know, what I'm saying, like, I'll get a console. I'll just take whatever y'all don't want. Okay. So a uh, dude ahead of me is like, man, I don't really know. Come back to me. To when they handed out the tickets, we all look at him like, are you crazy? Yeah, I'm, he had some stuff hitting them bills. That's what that was going on. It must have been. must have been. So, uh, so you don't just say you don't want an X. Right. To get an S. To get an S. Someone was like, in red. Right. You Someone, to... He was buying that console. Someone wasn't getting paid. Like, <laughs> listen, the thing is, he had a console. He had a PS4 Pro to trade in. Oh, really? So it's like, it wasn't even cost him that much. But, uh-huh. you know, say, hey, whatever. I don't know what my man had going on. <laughs> but uh, <laughs> so dude in the back is literally like, hey, yo, listen, man. You were here first. I'm not going to choose for you. I, like, I would feel terrible if I take this X from you and then you decide that oh, you actually you want it. So you choose. I, I'm going to, like, you were here first. You choose. I'm mm-hmm. not going to choose for you. And dude ended up going with the S. No, and wow. So, so man in the back was like, well, if he don't want it, I'm going to take that X then. You know what I'm saying? We like, bro, you locked up. I don't yeah, know, he did. I don't know what he's thinking, but whatever. <laughs> you give up the superior console for the lesser one? <laughs> right. That you could have been had. You right. didn't have to be out here. You had to be out here. You could have got this from the comfort of your home. <laughs> right. Had to deliver right to your right. doorstep. Door. Today. Right. Microsoft might even bring it to you. <laughs> right. And shake your hand. No, I would have <laughs> <laughs> but I mean, if you also think about it, man's got out of there for about fifty bucks getting that ass. So you know, yeah, that's yeah, what's the up. bills might have been hitting. But uh, <laughs> yeah, but so yeah, man. So I secured that way. I did feel like I felt like the biggest nerd <laughs> I know you in did. the world. Like I felt terrible. <laughs> well, you told me that you had to stay in line. And you said I had to stay in line, and I can't remember the word you said. I think I know like what, a dork. Yeah, that's what I think it was a dork or something. Yeah. And I'm like, yeah, man, that's what have to happen sometimes. But you felt so defeated about that. But you ended up getting your console. <laughs> I got my console. I, so no, at the end of the day, I felt like a winner. So is that the only slander you have for Xbox because of that, or because of the system? No, itself? no. Okay, so now we get into the real slander. <laughs> okay, come on. <laughs> so uh, so I get home now, mind you. Uh, I know. I, I know. I, I, so, I'm talking to Toya about it at first. I'm telling uh-huh. her kind of my experience, <laughs> and then I go downstairs to set it up. And, and like, I'm I like I, when I sent you that picture, it was it was still in the box. I hadn't set it up yet. Right, right. So, uh, so I'm you know what I'm saying I'm, I'm checking to see like oh man we about to be playing or whatever. But uh-huh. you 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 was getting yours in about an hour from where I, when I told you that. So I yeah. went ahead and set it up. And then uh, I set it up, man. I'm happy about that. You know what I'm saying? I set it up on the app. I'm like, okay, this is pretty cool. Uh-huh. And then I powered it on. And it looked exactly it the, the same. exact same as what the, But no, what makes that so bad? It was the exact same as the system I had just traded in an hour prior, an hour prior to that. So I'm just like, bro, remember my words? I made a mistake. <laughs> remember my words I said to you? Like, bro, I think we got finessed. <laughs> You know what the black yells do? We got finessed. <laughs> we got finessed. So like, I still felt that way, man. So like, uh, so like, I turn it on or whatever. And you know, like you and I both know when you get a new system, you ain't playing that bad boy for a couple of hours. No. So it's like literally, I got it set up, man. I just started downloading some games, uh-huh. and then uh, and then we left. Mm-hmm. Uh, we left. Uh, 
I'm gonna go get my Roni shot. You know okay. what I'm saying? I yeah, yeah, yeah. Welcome, welcome here, man. Yeah, welcome, welcome. I went welcome. got my Roni shot. Yeah, so yeah. I'm with you. We that you had to get that you had to get because you was not gonna get it until no, you had to get it. No, I didn't have to get it. I could have I could have skipped it, but I've been told you I wanted it. I just wanted to make sure you know yeah. I wanted to let it sizzle in yeah. other spirits. You're right, right. But once I seen everybody else was cool. <laughs> Matt, Matt, listen, you see, I got the exact same shot that you got. I know it was working out all right for you. I right. see you every week. I'm like, man, you know what I'm saying? His eyes ain't dilated or nothing like that. He ain't growing no animanium claws or nothing. <laughs> yeah. you know? Listen, he he's working out for my man's all right. You know what I'm saying? I see him every day or I see him every week. Yeah, I think we'd be all right. Right. So uh, so I had to go get my Roni shot, and I'm like, all right, perfect. And then uh, <laughs> so I get back home, man, and I got the games going, and uh, I forget what I played first. I want to say, like, I maybe launched 2K or something <laughs> like that first, and then I'm just like, I'm looking at the system like, <laughs> That's like the I said the same thing. I made a mistake. <laughs> no. I made a mistake in Yo, this thing. You said, when you sent me that message, you said, you are reluctant on even opening it. <laughs> Yeah. Like, yo, you might be right. Yeah. I'm like, I'm looking at it at the box because I didn't put the box up the entire time. Right. I'm like, this might get boxed up. This yeah. might, get, I, I might sell this back. joint, man. Yeah. Like, I'm gonna take this back. Like, this ain't it. Yeah. But as we start playing the games more, I will say, I got E Little Crow with Xbox, man. That quick loading, just like on PlayStation. Yeah, the quick resume and all that stuff. But right. bro, when I would do the 2K matches and I would go right into the game. Or like I would reload the game up and it would go right back into it. Or I do the quick launch where I go from Destiny yeah. to Two K. I'm like, all right, this is dope. That I, makes I, it worth it. It definitely makes it worth it, yeah. man. So first world problems. And the games look better. The games yeah. do look like better. Once, once I actually found the enhanced games or whatever to yeah, play, you, like, yeah, MLB yeah. the show looks the exact same. The Xbox One enhanced version. I was like, oh, what is this crap? Like, uh-huh. I ain't do nothing different. Uh, I still have old gen version of Two K, so of course that looked the same, but. It was once I started playing, uh, uh, what's the name of that Outriders. game? Outriders. Like, Outriders. Yeah, yeah. yeah. Once I started playing Outriders, I was you like, okay. You said it was fire, right? Yes. Okay. It actually was fire. It was, it was actually you, a lot you of You crapped on it on the old gen version. That's because it was an awful experience on the old gen version. It, it was it was like laggy. Like I told you, it was like 10 frames a second. Yeah, I was like, yeah, this yeah. game it sucks. Yeah. This is terrible. So it's good now? Yeah, actually okay. playing on the X is actually really fun. Like, I'm about to get it. I, I really think that that would be your bag. Okay. And then uh, and now I see the value of Game Pass because it's like, yo, listen, yo, it was like, I it was bought like, this console. I bought nothing else. Yeah, me neither. Yeah, yeah. That, I mean, that's exactly it, bro. And that's the one thing I do appreciate about Game Pass is there's a tons of games to play. Yep. And one thing about Xbox they do have, which I think Microsoft, not Microsoft, Sony can get from this is when you go to download a game, I went to download MLB The Show, and it said, hold up. Before you do, once you download this version, because it's better on your console. Right. It pointed that out. Whereas on Sony, it doesn't do that. Whereas, like, okay, we're Spider-Man. Because, like, I don't own the, the first Spider-Man on the, the um, I own the disc, the disc version. Right, right. But on the uh, PS4, the version that it is for PS5 is different. Like right. it took, looks totally different. So when I when I got it, it was like okay, you can actually play this one, but you can pay like ten bucks to have this unlocked the upgraded. for the, the upgraded version. I'm like, all right, ten That's bucks. A scam. It's yeah. a scam. It's a scam. I, I, I still haven't finished uh, that to this day. Actually, P- Pootie's going through Miles Morales and she is loving that game. She might have questions for you when she sees you. Oh, good. Okay. Um, but. Yeah, yeah, man. Question for me. Well, I just oh, okay. Bro, she okay. Oh, no, I thought I did something. No, 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 no. <laughs> she she she's at the point where, bro, like. She watches the pod, right? Just like I sent you a video with Buddy, uh-huh. right? So, like, they see you <laughs> more than they see more most people. But when they see us on the podcast, like, like, okay, first of all, Buddy, it, it pissed me off a little bit because he's like, "Daddy, you have a mustache like Uncle Kevin." Yeah, bro, I've had a mustache for the longest. Okay, <laughs> right. I might even have one before Uncle Kevin. Probably but the fact, so. but the fact that you pointed out <laughs> and telling me that I'm copying off Uncle Kevin is really kind of vexing but me. It's the beard. He's not just seeing you with the beard. That's exactly what it yeah. is. It's the beard. You've been rocking about a year strong now. I have. Yeah, I have. Yeah. Um. But yeah, so she. I'm just saying, she's playing the game. So she's yeah. uh, she's in that. She's a gamer. Well, yeah, I, I, I thought I appeared in the game or something. Nah, like that. nah, like, oh, nah. Okay. Well, and they also check. About it. They also check. Yeah. You know, let's put us in there with a Games of Life T-shirt on. Absolutely. There. Um. But yeah, man, I got I got to eat a little crow with, with Microsoft. They got a good thing going with that. I will say yeah, though, it took a little while. For it me did, to see it, bro. It took us to buy it. Listen, you know, like we never. No, li- no, listen. Even after <laughs> buying it, once I hooked it up, man, I, I felt oh, bad. I, no, I, I was I felt real bad. I told you. I said, like, I think we've been finessed. Listen. No, listen. When you told me that, I was like, bruh, you hadn't got yours yet, so I didn't want to say nothing. Yeah. But man, that was my first thought. I turned that bad boy on and was like, yo, no. Nah. Just like you said, it is. I like the fact you can set it up in the app. So you can set everything up, but it brings everything open. But yo, it brings over the wallpaper, yes. the way it looked, the, the, the preferences, everything. I said, yo. This is the same console. Yeah, they, I, they really should have refreshed the UI. Yeah, like please give us a different user experience for the next gen. Like, yeah, man. Because that 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 like, bro, it felt bad. Yeah, it literally felt bad yeah. to turn that game on. What do you think about the controller though? It's the exact. Well, I mean, it's a little grippier. Yeah, exactly. I, I think nice. it's a little, little grippier. Yeah. I do think, but it's nothing like that PlayStation controller. No, listen. It, 
Yeah, we, like, brother, it, it feels bad, it man. It does. And on that on initial launch, it feels bad. Yeah, you got to dig in. Yeah, you got to really commit or to it. Or watch the pod, and we can break it down for you a little bit better. Because <laughs> yeah, like, if you're a person who just goes and gets it, you might take it back. Yeah, exactly. Because we both were like, we were like each other's therapy session at that point. <laughs> for that little couple 10 minutes, we were setting it up. Like, bro, I think we've been finessed. <laughs> right. I don't feel good about this purchase at all. At I, was all. Ex- I was excited when I got it. <laughs> right. no, 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 like, I don't, this don't feel right. This don't, this don't feel like it's worth the five ninety nine. Right. All right? This is about to go back. <laughs> But so going into E3, E3 came and went. Um, Microsoft said a lot of stuff. I don't really know. Like, first of all, E3 is done. Did they have anything? They did. They had the best showing. Because, but they it were the only showing. Exactly. That's why I said they were the best. <laughs> <laughs> and the Nintendo Treehouse event, which was trash. Yeah, anyway, they didn't show that. anything. They didn't Run show the anything. Wild 2 or whatever it's going to be called. Yeah, I think COVID kind of hit them. You know, yeah. we're, we're kind of seeing the point where COVID's kind of rearing this ugly head at the end because COVID's over. Oh, bro. Like that. You brought me back. Like, man, that's what. And, like, that's why I could, like, I think that that was the only lineup that I could really exist in because, it's like, oh, I could talk video games. You know yeah. what I'm saying? I know, I know what's going on in video you gotta games. You got to embrace the nerds, man. But, uh, it's like, the cool, we're cool nerds, well, Kev. It was the fact that, I, that we were sitting out there talking about E3 or whatever. And, like, they were telling me something about Halo, and I'm just like, I'm checked out, like, brother. <laughs> yeah, I don't, don't play Halo, man. <laughs> thought that game sucked. <laughs> And they loved it. They're like, man, you know, Halo 5, I mean, uh, when I was, I was playing the... the, the well, you, gotta, little... you gotta realize something. You're out there with true Xbox fans. Bruh. You're no, out they're, there they're just to get something video new. video game fans. No, they're true Xbox fans, Kev. You know, they were talking you... about the Switch and all them games. I'm like, bruh, I hate... Uh, I don't hate my Switch, but... I don't I'm play that. Spit, man. <laughs> <laughs> no, I don't play that neither, man. You, you do, but you have a Switch. I do. Yeah. I, I bought it. I played, like, four games on it. And yeah. that was, that was kind of the end of that. Hey, I get some updates, man. Yeah, like, listen... The problem is, man, uh, Switch ain't got no games that, that anybody ever heard of. Like, yeah. bro, that is the worst thing about that console. There are so many, like, what seems like bootleg and generic games oh, yeah. published for the Switch. Mm-hmm. That it's just like, yo, I don't know what's good well, other or, than the re-released Nintendo titles that we've been buying for 30 years. That's all it is. <laughs> that's all it is. I'm telling you, if they came out with a new Switch and they announced it and they would call it the Super Nintendo Switch, I would have bought it. What are the good games? I don't know, Kev. Exactly. I don't know. Animal Crossing. Uh, yeah. Exactly. That's all, it's my Animal Crossing system. Yeah. That's all I play on it. And Mario Pokemon. Kart. And, and Pokemon. And yeah. Mario Kart? Yeah. It was, I don't even have Mario Kart. Mar- I'm picking up Mario Kart. You need to. I'm it's on up, sale. Well, I got drift in my controller. So, I, like, now it's really Yeah, bro, you should have been sent it away. It's an afterthought. <laughs> <laughs> you just deal with it? Yeah, you just deal I with the drift. I, yeah, I, do, I just deal with it because <laughs> I don't play. <laughs> If you really want, listen, we're going to get down to the nitty and the gritty. The real truth today, uh-huh. it almost got traded in for that Xbox. <laughs> really? I, thought, I thought about it for 0.5 Why? seconds. No. But my god kids love it. Okay. Yeah, Just for that reason alone. You can't trade in the Switch. Bro, yeah, it almost it's probably, went. It honestly is probably my favorite system in the crib. Because I can sit in, I can sit in, I can sit, it's portable. I can sit in bed and play in Animal Crossing. I at least won't let me get rid of it now. Yeah. So I, because of that, I can't get rid of it. Yeah. Um, I you, almost traded it in. Really? I definitely almost traded it in. You know, it's funny that you literally, you are a real Sony fanboy. You own all Sonys. And yeah. you're trading everything else. Yeah. No, yeah, because I, I look around your house. You have everything. Like that PlayStation 4 has been sitting there literally has not it's probably been so turned dusty. on. It, yeah. It's not been turned on for months <laughs> since you mine. got your PS5, but you'll never trade it in. No. Your PS3 is in the box downstairs. Yeah. Where's your PS2? At my dad's your, house. And you had the PS One still. Yeah, my dad's yeah you're house. a true, you're a true Sony. Yeah, I'm a true yeah, Sony. Yeah, true, like, yeah. I'm Sony pony. Yeah. yeah. You know <laughs> Xbox. Did you did you power? No, first, did you plug your Xbox into the power brick? I did. Okay. I did plug it into the. Because uh, the disrespect protection. you gave your old Xbox, bro, it wouldn't even go into the power brick. <laughs> like a. Like if, well, a, if no, a power it, surge happened, I know you told me why. Yeah, but still, and also it was disrespect. You know what I'm saying? It was just to let it know, like you're the inferior. Absolutely. You know what I'm saying? Absolutely. You're not gonna get this good treatment. I'm surprised it didn't break on you because technology listens to you, bro. Well, uh, yeah, it knew better than to break because it knew that yo, your life cycle is gonna be short. Yeah. <laughs> eventually, you're gonna be traded in. You're gonna go live somewhere else. Yeah. Now the PlayStation is always gonna be his forever home. <laughs> Okay. <laughs> Once it's here, it's here. Yeah, like, yeah. man, that, that's to be owned and cherished. <laughs> right. But right. Uh, you, you piece of garbage, just go get out. <laughs> so, we, but about E3, though. E3 came and went. I talked to Jay a little bit about it, too. He was so hurt um, by E3 being bad. I'm like, bro, it's been bad forever. No, I didn't watch any of it, bro. Like, I didn't I, either. I just kind of caught the news. Uh, first of all, Twitter is the greatest thing to ever be invented. Cause, Absolutely. Like, you can figure out everything that you need to know in yeah. 140 characters, whatever oh, absolutely. it is now. Yeah, quick too. Yeah, yeah. Quick too. Yeah, I can just search it up, man. E3. Nothing. It was buns. It was buns. Okay, perfect. <laughs> That's all I need to know. Yeah, nothing happened. Right. Yeah, they said some games that are coming. Like, oh, yeah, Breath of the Wild is coming. Uh, 2022. I'm like, all right, cool. I did get excited because the trailer was actually kind of dope. Yeah. Um, but other than that, that was it. They showed Halo. 
They showed Halo Infinite. Man. It, it looked okay. No, it looked okay. Yeah, you you know, the only reason I'm excited for these games at that point is Game because Pass. Game Pass. Yeah. Like, oh, I ain't going to pay nothing for it. Right. I already paid for it now. Right. Even with, what's the Starfield? They keep talking about Starfield. I'm excited to play that. Yeah. I'm start, oh, I started playing No Man's Sky. Did you, what do you think? Uh, I couldn't really understand Me neither. That's I, why I aborted it. Yeah. I, 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 I started quick, it up. Quick. It looked pretty. It looked like it's fun. Yeah. Even Pirate Booty looks fun. But I don't know what's going on. So I, I started it. like it was, I was dying because there was too much radiation in the air. Oh yeah, was, yeah, like, it was, was too much. I don't, don't want to do math. Like, yeah, I, I was did, like, oh, no, yeah, it's too much. I, I do math know. for work. I ain't yeah. trying to do math. Man. Yeah, no. I ain't trying to do I physics. I want to play games. I want, I want to hit stuff. Yeah, I want to be have superpowers. Yeah, you know, like that's what I want, bro. That's why I can't say that. I played I played Death Stranding and enjoyed it. Yeah, you did. But you know what? Let's go, Jima. You hit stuff. You hit stuff and you shoot. And you play Don't Starve was kind of like that too, though. You hit stuff and you shoot and don't starve too, though. Really? Yeah. Like, but uh, yeah, no man's buy felt uh, no man's. I still didn't buy, it. <laughs> but uh, <laughs> but it felt like it was just a little too quirky. I was like, it looks nice. Yeah. And, and, and man, I'm gonna I'm gonna try it on the Series X or whatever because I'm playing it on my Xbox One, and uh, it was it was all right. It really? Was, yeah, it was okay. I don't know. I'm, I'm gonna try it. I'm gonna get a little bit longer man i've been playing all the uh all the game pass just gives me an excuse to play all these games it's like uh it's like taking one bite out of the apple and throwing it away yeah because i mean because I mean? you think about it games before you had to pay 59.99 you're gonna, so play, I'm gonna to, play that game. you're gonna play to the bitter end yeah whereas now you get a little sample platter yeah you know just go in there and play a little bit i don't like it at all I just delete it i don't exactly. feel bad about that they do have a lot of uh enhanced games in there now which i do think that's the beauty of these new systems Although, like you got games like Ratchet and Clank, who are built for that new next gen system, where it's like Which you'll, we, what you'll we see. really need. Yeah, that's yeah. what we really need. But we're not getting that. I don't not, know how Insomniac not for figured that. Year or two. Yeah, twenty twenty two. These yeah. these systems have been out for six months now. Well, the problem is like uh, it's not profitable to build games for the new systems hmm. because it's like not enough people have them. True. They don't. You yeah, know what I'm saying? You, yeah. You I make more that. money building these games for them old systems because everybody got those. I'm just enhancing them. Yeah. 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 yeah you're right. That makes more sense. Yeah, it makes a lot of dang sense. No, I think but, I mean, that hurts because it's like, yo, now I got this system and I'm waiting on the games. Yeah. I mean, but, I mean, listen, the, the quick load and all that stuff, it, it's its own benefit. But they got to get that right, man. Like, listen, somebody just got to take it on the chin. And uh, the fact that uh, playing MLB The Show and the, the PlayStation logo shows up on Xbox, and it's like. It's nasty. I like it. I'm Do like, you? I'm like, assert your dominance, Sony. <laughs> That's right. Let them let let the Xbox know that you know how to make a game. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I, I still haven't. I downloaded it and put it on my system. I still haven't played it yet, though. It's fun. I'll I'll, I'll get around to it. Yeah, I mean, like, two K's got his clutches baseball. in me, though, bro. Yeah, I'm surprised you're not feeling the two K fatigue yet, though. Mm-mm. Nah, it's been fun. I just I, I got to get Luca, man. That's yeah. it's like it's my grind. I got to get Luca, but I'm like ten thousand XP away, so I got to get some new challenges in there because I'm not doing some of those other ones. There'll be a new domination coming soon. Really? Yeah, there's okay. gonna be another domination coming pretty soon, I imagine. I don't know how much uh, XP you get for domination though. Uh, I don't, I don't know if you get any XP, but like uh, you'll get you'll get those cards. You get packs after every one of them, so you okay. you'll earn a lot or you'll make uh, a lot of uh, MT. Gotcha. Yeah, gotcha. So it'll be worth it. Okay. Um. Well, you think about the Madden 2022 athletes, the cover athletes. You got Tom Brady and Pat Mahomes on the cover, both of them. They look cool. Yeah, they look stupid. Yeah. Yeah, come on, man. Like, it's just you're sharing. You know, you don't want to share. Like, it's every time Madden has been a cover athlete, period. Don't try to get onto the GOAT uh, Tom Brady's uh, uh, bumper. No, we had one with two before. Who? Uh, Paul oh, Malo yeah, Paul Malu and uh, Larry Fitzgerald. Yeah. Okay. Huh. I don't like this, man. It just seems nasty. <laughs> because especially if I'm if I'm Pat Mahomes, I just lost to Tom Brady. So I don't want to be on the cover with him. I don't like him. We got smoke. Like Where I don't want to I want I don't want to have a, regardless of the fact, man. Tom Brady shouldn't be beating me. Smoke doesn't exist in uh in sports anymore, man. Why like, is everybody that? Everybody likes each other. That's why I loved the other the last night when Atlanta and Philly. I could tell them teams just don't like each other. Beef moved into hip hop, man. Like that. Did it? Like yeah. Yeah, like, they like, they, listen, they, they live can't, it. It can't exist anymore. Yeah, else. they're li- in, in hip hop, they're living it too much. Yeah, yeah they're li- it's terrible. Yeah, they're living it like Grand Theft Auto. Yeah. yeah. Ain't no respawn points in this thing called life, man. And, Relax. Fact, they're not even rappers anymore. It's no, just no. Like, it's just beef. No, it's just right. Beef it's, on wax. Right. Yeah, like, yeah, you ain't gonna make it long. Nah, at all. Oh, if you passed away, I'm gonna talk about you. Not even that. Like, man, you just went to jail or you ain't, you, it wasn't beef with nobody no more. Right. Now you got nothing to talk about. It's over. It just went dark. Yeah. Um, yeah, we'll move on. I don't. I don't know about how to feel about this. This cover. I think Madden is taking a turn. Like even when the trailers come out now for Madden, I don't even get excited anymore. And I haven't been excited for the last couple of years. If they get on Game Pass, I'll play it because I think you know with their partnership oh, with yeah, EA it now. To. It's got to go on Game. I mean, the old Madden's on Game Pass. It's it'll go, it'll Game go on Game Pass. Pass after a while. It wouldn't go on there initially. That's okay. I but now play it till after a while. Yeah. See, I don't even. That's the thing about. It. Remember when Madden had a holiday? It had its own holiday. I've been playing Madden. 
Have on you? The Game Pass. Yeah, I've been playing it a little bit. Oh yeah, yeah, yeah. The new one, the new one that's on Game Pass. I yeah. I tried it. It was okay. I get I get yeah. my little. You know, my little fix, but yeah, I'm over it's it, a good man. way to kill 40 minutes. That's, yeah. a, that's all that is. If yeah. that. I couldn't get to a full game last time I played it. Really? I, I got the, I ran the ball a couple of times through a pick. Yeah, this is, you know, it's all right. Oh, see, no, I'm playing on full arcade. Oh. <laughs> yeah, I'm just out here just having a ball. Oh, you're out here doing flips and stuff. Yeah. Oh, okay. Yeah, I'm playing Blitz. Oh, yeah, you're playing for Blitz. Yeah. <laughs> you know, I looked for a Blitz cabinet the other day to well, see how much they go for. They're expensive, though. I, I would I would want because like one up when RK one up has one I'll probably get one. We need that back, man. We need that energy back. Yeah, absolutely. You know they I'm try saying? to incorporate that in the Madden though. No, well, yeah, no. I'm saying like Blitz, they got all the way raw. Yeah, you yeah. know what I'm saying it's like yo, you had a concussion. Yeah. Uh, you know, you had a broken femur all in one hit. I yeah. think they were drinking on the field. Yeah, absolutely. Yeah. They celebrated you doing dirty. They actually, did what you guys did on the Saints. They had the bounty gate. Yeah. You know, you know what I mean? Where do they got the inspiration? Then, <laughs> then they give you the finger. Like, after they broke your leg, they stand over you and give you the finger. <laughs> NFL was like, yeah, no, nah, this ain't good for the brand. Yeah, yeah. Yeah. All right, man. Well, that's the gaming news. Ain't nothing else really going on right now. E3 came and went. Um, you know, really. Series X's, boy. Yeah. You finally completed the. Now the cipher is complete. Now, yeah. the real question is are you going to buy that upgraded Switch? Ugh, if it comes, I mean, I don't know, man. Like, yeah, they have the games for it. Because what they're going to probably end up doing. Is coming out with a new uh, Mario Kart or a new Mario Odyssey or something. I got to think those are eventually going to come yeah, down the pipeline. How do we never get a proper Mario Kart for the Switch? It's like all we got was the DS port. Bro, all, this, all we got was a bunch of DS that's ports. That's all this is. Nobody, or not DS. It's Wii. Uh, Wii. The Wii U. Wii U. Because Wii U nobody ports. played those games. So they were Absolutely. like, uh, here's something brand new that you never played before. Yeah. Like, it's not brand new. It's not, nah. but you never played it before. You're right. I, I mean, haven't played it. So you're, you're right. Correct. Let's get it. We're going to recoup this money. Absolutely. I'm going to get it from Walmart for 49 bucks, though. Yeah. That's, that's the best no, thing I'm not buying any of this crap, man. There are no good games for the Switch, man. I'm sick of it. <laughs> if you are watching this, <laughs> if you're watching this uh, podcast, <laughs> get in those comments and you tell me what the good games are for the Switch. I ain't seen them. And the Switch got a ton of games. Every time I go to the store, it's a wall full of games yeah. that I ain't never heard of. And I never hear anybody talking about them. I look at them, I'm like, man, what is this crap? Yeah. There's a whole bunch of garbage on the wall. <laughs> Just like, it's, the, it's literally like, how is it that Sony and Microsoft, you have all these games that you've at least heard of? Mm-hmm. It's like, I never played Yakuza, but I know what it is at least. I'm at least aware of it. You told I, me that I game was buns, though. Huh? You told me that game was buns. Yeah, that game sucked. <laughs> <laughs> I downloaded it for Game Pass. Once I saw it was turn-based uh, uh, fighting, I was like, no, this is this is crap. <laughs> like, I don't want to play this at all. People love that game, though. They do. I Like, listen, different strokes for different folks. Uh-huh. I get it, but no, that game was total crap. I was like, get me out of here. I don't know what y'all like about this. But that's what the whole catalog for the Switch is like, bro. Yeah. Just a bunch of crap. I yeah. don't know what the hype they pry, is. They pry on our nostalgia, man. What games do you have for the Switch? A lot. I got a lot of games for the no, Switch. No, you don't. Yes, I do. Like, you got a bunch of games that you already have for the Switch. Okay, yeah. I mean, yeah, I do. I got but I'm it. saying, what's that? So you got Zelda games. Yeah. Right? Uh, Mario Kart. Some Mario Karts. Yeah. The Mario, Street Paper Fighter. Mario. Paper Mario. You got Street Fighter. I do. Street I didn't Fighter. know there was Street Fighter on the Switch. Street Fighter Anthology. Has okay. all, the, all the other old Street Fighters on there. Oh, that's not um, so bad. But Octopath, Tra- Octopath Traveler. That was a mistake. Kirby. Kirby. Oh, okay. Um, okay. Legendary titles. Zelda. Uh, Luigi's Mansion. Luigi's, I don't got Luigi's Mansion on You didn't buy it. Luigi's Mansion? I didn't. I did. I need to. Okay. But no, you know, I, well, I was messing around with the emulators because I already have it on the Wii U oh, emulator, yeah, so go. I don't need to get it. Um, yeah, and then Paper Mario was fun as heck. Yeah. Um, you know, there's a lot of stuff you probably wouldn't be into, though. It, but it's because they're not good games, man. Like, <laughs> or they're games that I already played a, a thousand years ago. Yeah. Uh, and they they stay expensive. That's the other part of this. Man, yeah. that's the other part that's of this. That's very expensive. true. These games never come down in price, like, uh, like the little Mario game or whatever, where he's in the real world or whatever. Mm. I don't know. And why would we charge it so much for uh for uh, uh the 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 Mario All Star where you got Mario sixty four and all that? Yeah, yeah. But the, a lot of people were upset about that. Yeah, like the game, and, and he wouldn't sell it separate because you knew it was a good value. Well, they tried to they tried to put the hustle in there saying it's only gonna be around for a limited time. Yeah. And then a lot of people didn't buy it, and they were like, "Well, guess what? It's still here." Yeah. <laughs> right. So it'll be a little around for a limited yeah. time until y'all buy it. Until y'all buy it. Yeah. Right. And then we're gonna take it away. Um, I don't know, Kev. I don't know. Trade your Switch in, bro. You're not going to play it? Trade no, because it it's a new Pokemon coming out. I'm going to play that. Yeah, you're going to play I'll tell you. I, I'll play I, Zelda, too. That's what I always tell you, man. The Nintendo Switch is like an abusive relationship. They tell you they love you, and then they beat you. I'm and definitely then, not buying that new one. Which one? That HD thing or whatever. I'm oh, not yeah. Buying that, but that's bro. just a rumor. We don't know if it's coming. It's coming out. It's going to come eventually, yeah. but we don't know if it's going to come anytime soon. And if they do, they got to have some new games that make you want to go buy it, though. No, they ain't. I know. Yeah. I mean, it's gonna be the same games that's on this Switch. I'm not buying. I'm not upgrading. Yeah. I'm not doing it, man. It's like like I didn't buy the PS4 Pro.
I'm not doing it. <sighs> yeah. Grind yeah. it out. Yeah. Yeah. I'm with you. We'll leave, we'll leave it be. We'll leave it be. Even though maybe that's a mistake, too. What's like, that? man, uh, maybe it's like our need to have the, the new uh, console generation. Maybe we should be buying the refresh. Because I always bought the, the S versions of the iPhones. Because I'm like, listen, this is when it always worked out best. Yeah. Yeah. Whenever the new model came out or whatever, it was always a little, eh, eh, a little bit of problems. Yeah. But whenever that S version came out, it was perfect every time. You had to just, like, you know. Yeah. Maybe we maybe we doing that wrong. Maybe I should still be playing Wii U. Uh, no. <laughs> <laughs> no, we're just, because games are for adults, man. Yeah. We work hard, play hard. So, like, yeah. just so, and especially when you get the trade-in value for the old stuff, because the old stuff is selling. Yeah. Okay? So, if I can trade in my old stuff and get the new stuff. Yeah, yeah, cause I sold my yeah I sold my PS4 and my Xbox to where made I made a profit. Made a profit. Yeah, I said yeah I'll take it, man. Yeah. I know the FedEx dude is sick of me. That's it, gaming news. Ain't nothing else going on. Yeah. Um, all right, man. Let's talk about these playoffs, bro. So the nu- the Suns went ahead and swept the Nuggets. They did. Um, CP3 is out with COVID. Right on time. Right on time, so he yeah. can sit down and chill. Um, <laughs> right. It was like man, <laughs> it was getting it was playoffs was getting too good. To yeah. Him, huh? Couldn't it, let him live that long. I do think that it's gonna be a, a it's gonna be a um whatever team is gonna win is gonna be the healthiest. You know, I'm seeing the teams, whoever team's going to be the healthiest. Although, um, with the Suns, the Suns seem like, to me, they got a good team going. Um, we'll see what happens with them. But they got they got, they got the Nuggets up out of there. CP3 shown uh, he's a real MVP of this year. Well, I do think that they should have rethought that. Yeah. Um, so he moved on from that. And then we got... Uh, Clippers went on ahead and got through Utah. Yes, that Clippers. Was, nobody saw that coming. No, they did. Although, man, the, Utah have been giving me Gonzaga vibes all year. You know, Donovan Mitchell was playing so good. Though. He was. I mean, I, but I knew I knew it was a problem when Utah was hitting like all those three pointers. They was only up by like five points. Yeah, <laughs> I said, yeah, this ain't gonna end well. You yeah, know? right. But who would ever thought the little young boy for the Clippers would have done what he did last night? Right. You know, but how long? Excuse me, can they sustain this? Because they don't know what's wrong with Kawhi. Because I, I saw it was an ACL or whatever, but then I heard nothing else about it. And then I saw a picture of Kawhi yesterday, and he was walking around like everything was all good. Yeah. I'm like, I don't know. Well, they said that they're not – the Clippers are holding it close to the chest exactly what's going on. They're not telling anything. So uh, – I'm saying, like, he doesn't have a torn ACL because he was literally just walking around. Yeah. He was, like, he was standing in the tunnel, and then he walked in the back. It was like, he didn't have a nice brace or nothing. He was, well, I think – like Kawhi. I think part of it as well, too, is that Kawhi is a very interesting guy. Yeah, and we is. don't know what's going He's on a fun with guy. Yeah, Uncle Uncle Dennis is not letting it out what's going on with them. I hope it's not a torn ACL because that's where they were saying they were fearful of that. Yeah. Um, because that news came the same day that CP3 had COVID. But I'm like, man, NBA gods, I mean basketball gods are not being fair today. They're you not. know, I didn't like that story, came right back to back. But both of those teams moved on. Um, who'd ever thought that Paul George would be on a team to, that would go to the conference finals? And he got, he finally got past Joe Ingles. He definitely get, got past Joe. That's Ingles. surprising. He is. Joe Ingles was the, the boogeyman yeah. for Paul George. Although Paul George still does things I just don't get. He actually wasn't great yesterday. He was not great. Not the great. young boy saved him. He did. The young boy he saved did. him, and then Pat Bev got in the game, puffing his chest out. That's what you need him for. Yeah, that's true. You need a little, you know what I'm saying? Little that's true. Boy, just burr, burr. Yeah, that is very true. People. So they're they're moving on, and who they're gonna play? They play Phoenix. Oh, they play Phoenix. Oh, yeah. they play Phoenix. Oh, well. So Clippers are done. So Clippers are out of here. I don't know, man. CP3 gone now. I don't know yeah, what that's Phoenix true. can do. It's going to be an interesting matchup now. CP, yeah. so, so hold on. So when does CP3 get to come back? He, if he if he had COVID, he's got to be out at least two weeks. Well, see, hold on. See, this is where I'm calling BS on that, though. Because they're not doing it. If they want to do the right thing, I say do the right thing. If they want to be like they were doing before and stay in uniform, they would do contact tracing, which means a lot of the Phoenix Suns would probably be out then. Because yeah. CP3 has been around well, everybody. Well, they, 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 they probably depends on who's been vaccinated. I heard CB3 was vaccinated. Well, even still, even still, like you know what I mean. They might be like, eh. they're not going to do that for the playoffs. I bet CB3 plays game one. I mean, if they if they can to CP3, they don't like CP3, man. Like, what, nah, did, he do? what did he do? He's like, listen, he can't hit the floor. He like they can't allow him to hit the floor because it's like, yo, if anybody on either team or either organization is unvaccinated, CP3 can't be out there if he's confirmed Rona positive. Well, see, that's the thing, though. If he's Rona positive, he's going to be Rona positive probably for the extent of that whole finals. Right. You already know. You're going to be, you're going to be testing positive for a long time. Right. Even if you don't have symptoms. Hey, that's how it got to be. Really? Yeah. So what if what if other players get that? What if Devin Booker? What if Devin Booker gets that? I don't want it to happen, but what if he tests positive? Hey, sorry, LeBron. That's it? Sorry, LeBron. <laughs> <laughs> how does it mean LeBron? <laughs> Phoenix Suns took him out for nothing. <laughs> <laughs> Although I will... What is your stance on the players saying, like, okay, it's your body, it's your, you know, as far as getting the, getting the vaccine, uh-huh. um, you know, what? Is, that's what I, I, I kind of call a lot of crap on LeBron and CP3 with that. 
because they were they were part of the reason they were saying like, oh, you know, people getting getting uh, the coronavirus vaccine and they should get it or shouldn't get it. They were saying, well, it's the person's choice or whatever. Right. Like now we're seeing that that it shouldn't have been the people's choice. It should have been. No, every, it should be the people's choice. It could. I, but in, in, in the sports organization, like, OK, we're seeing a lot of organizations now where you have to get vaccinated before you can go to work. Well, I mean, hey, listen, I, I believe that I should be able to sue my employer. If they decide <laughs> that that's the uh, position that they want to take. They might. Because it's like, yo, you don't know my reason for maybe not want to get that vaccine. True. And, uh, you know, I shouldn't be penalized for that. Like, True. You, sh- like you have to make uh, accommodations for anybody else or anybody that had any type of uh, physical disability or handicap or anything like that. Mm-hmm. You have to make sure that you had accommodations and accessibility for them. Yeah. Why am I any different at that point if I don't want to take this vaccine? Well, the difference is, I think, is that when we have a situation like we have now, whereas... Which, which is kind of weird. And I'm talking myself through it. That CB3 supposedly already got the vaccine, but he still tested positive. Right. Which is something that can happen. Yeah. Um. But we're now dealing with. We only heard about CB3. I do think there's going to be other chips to fall on this, and I think when those other chips fall, it's like the finals or, or conference finals. In this say, I don't know if they're going to. It it could take a hit. Yeah. That's what I'm oh, saying. Definitely. It the could take a hit. The playoffs are taking a hit. Yeah, they have. Yeah, we yeah. don't I don't nobody likes all these injuries. Uh ISO gang, the way that we've been treated, like I don't like yeah. that. Yeah. Yeah. I, I don't like that. I don't like that at all. But I do all right, so yeah, so bumped into that one here. We did we definitely want to talk about that one. Milwaukee and, and uh and uh, the Nets, although yeah, this was p- kind of ticks me off even more. That I gotta go to this function and yeah, I that's see that tonight. I, I'm actually very upset that that's tonight. It should have been tomorrow. Uh like I mean uh Clippers I, and uh, what time the game come on? 7.30. I'll be home before that game. Come on. Yeah, <laughs> trust trust <laughs> me. Yeah, like, man, we're going to be on the road. Yeah, we're gonna, we'll be on the road. We'll be home by that point. I don't know how much party you need to do, man. I'm getting there about See, three. Uh, I think that because y'all have the kids, too, like, you have a good excuse to, like, wrap it up. Like, I always oh, yeah. have trouble... Like getting to the wrap it up portion. Yeah, yeah, like yeah wrapping yeah. it up is yeah. very tough. Where I'm, I'm a, I'm a very prompt. Let's wrap this up. Let's go. Yeah, yeah. Kind of person. Yeah, uh, yeah. You know, what I'm saying club lights is all. I can oh yeah, say. yeah. Exactly, yeah. exactly, exactly. Um, but yeah, Milwaukee and uh, and uh, the Nets. We got to talk about KD because before the last pod, we didn't get a chance to talk about the performance that KD put on in Game Four. It was yeah. where he went completely buck nuts and went supernova. Berserkers. Yeah, yeah. They, they. I think they gave up last game. Not, they not definitely much. did. Well, because we got it within five. Yes, and then uh, then they hit a couple, and we were like, and it, they, we pulled KD and Harden yeah, yeah, really pull, early. Yeah. But the thing was, I think it was kind of like, yo, listen, we got to be full strength for Game Seven. Yeah, yeah. Like you know what I mean? It's if, in Brooklyn. If this game don't get close. Is it in Brooklyn? Let it go. Yes, it is in. Brooklyn. Okay, so it's in Brooklyn. Place is gonna be rocking tonight. I yeah. don't like how all the New Yorkers or Nick fans are jumping on the wagon now. I don't like that. That's nasty. I've been saying that this is what they should have been doing. No, but see, that's the, the I give my dad crap. Support about. Brooklyn. No, my dad is a New York Giants fan, and when the Jets were winning, he jumped on their wagon so good I hated it. He's like, it's you New gotta York. support. You it's support New Yorker, them. baby. Nah. I, su- I can support the Browns and the Bengals because I don't root for either one of them. <laughs> but if you were, a Bra- <laughs> <laughs> but if you were a big Browns fan, could you support the Bengals? If they were doing good and the Browns were bad, sure. Okay, Why so not? to that same narrative, if you're you're a Buckeye fan. If right. Cincinnati was doing good in uh, in college football, would you support them? No, you would not, Ken. I know you wouldn't. <laughs> if Ohio State was not doing good, maybe. <laughs> like I'd be, I'd at least be happy. <laughs> okay, for him, I guess. Okay, um, it's gonna be a big game tonight. I I do think that I don't know who's gonna win. I really don't, man. I, I, I still can't go to win. You I, know what I'm saying? Hot I, take right now. I, I, I don't yeah. really know this. I want, I want him to that's win. That's what I want to win. Okay, Come so, on, I still can't. So James, James Harden out there, bro. i never seen somebody flop with a torn uh, or a he messed up hard. hamstring. Yeah, for his hamstring bro. to be injured, yeah, it's, it's, hard. it's hilarious to watch, though. Yeah. He, he got to stop flopping on the three, man. He's falling. like He's like he this in the air. Draw, you got to try to draw it. I get it. I get it. But he's, he, he, I don't know. No, nah, but when he when he uh, waved off the help defense on Giannis, I was like, <laughs> Giannis got to make a change. <laughs> Yo, Giannis has no back. Nah, he, like he no... tried to hit a spin, a turnaround, fade away, and that bad boy <laughs> Listen, breaks so bad. I mean, hard to go on one leg is like, you know what, not. Nah, yeah. This fool about to try to shoot a fade away. <laughs> I got this, man. You get behind uh, me, you get this rebound. You, you see Harden uh, throw his hands up in the air when he's going to free throws? Yeah. Listen, yeah. everybody's sick of waiting on y'all to shoot these free throws, man. <laughs> Look, He's I, got no bag. I sent you a message uh, the other day, and I knew I was up super earlier than you. And I, and I had it on my heart. I had to say it, bro. I don't like watching Giannis play basketball. <laughs> I really don't. I just don't like watching him play basketball. And I I get that he is an effective player at times. But here's what Milwaukee has to do to win the game. They have to go through Middleton. 
Yeah. Giannis has to be the number two option. He cannot be the number one option. They have to go through Middleton. I'm at the point where the Milwaukee's coach is going to get fired if they win. Because right. he literally, I don't know what game plan he was doing the first couple of games. You are the biggest team on the floor. Why are you playing small? Yeah. Why is Brooke Lopez doing anything but, but having his butt on the block and, and, and bully balling the ball? Why is he shooting three? If I seen Brooke Lopez shoot one more three, I'm going to break my television. <laughs> like, I'm sick of it, man. At it, least his be falling. He, it does. But P.J. Tucker, yo, when P.J. Tucker was out there getting torched for like 50-some points against KD, and I get it, everyone gets torched against KD. You can't stop him, right? Right. Well, you're giving no, you got no points on the other end. Right. Why are you out there? Right. Literally, what, what point are you giving right. here? You're giving up 50 and you're giving none. Right. Get out of my game, bro. You, this is like, you, it's but no it's more. Like, who going to do better? I, I like, get, you can keep sending victims. I, I do, yeah. You got to send victims, but I do Actually, think. Actually, no. Send six hard fouls. Yeah. Like, yeah, listen. No, but I was doing them, but tick off KD. Because KD doesn't get a lot of calls. I will say that, though. Yeah, that, that has been the thing that's been most frustrating about seeing this uh, series. Yeah. Is the fact that it seems like Brooklyn gets no calls yeah. at all. Well, I gotta think though that they like, that Milwaukee drug this out. I wonder if Kyrie's gonna play tonight. The zebras drug this out because the NBA knew like this is oh, what yeah, everybody yeah. expected to be the. Finals. Oh, absolutely! Somebody uh, definitely hit that BW three button and yeah. was like, uh, "Keep the game going. We don't want this to be over with." <laughs> right. You know, I thought they were gonna do that for the uh, the Utah Jazz because like just to get CP three back in time. Uh, but we've seen that didn't happen. Yeah, so. we'll go ahead. Listen, the thing is, the NBA did not want the Jazz in the final. No, like listen, that they, they no. might actually be letting the Clippers go ahead because it's like, yo, listen. Clippers could be a draw at least. Absolutely, absolutely. But LA you, versus New York. You, you remember when uh when uh KD and, and LeBron did the uh the All Star pick? You know what the last two picks were. Yeah. It was Rudy Gobert and Donovan Mitchell. Nobody yeah. cares, Nobody about, cares Utah. about Utah. Yeah, nobody, nobody cares, cares about, about Utah, Utah, man. Like it's it's NBA was so relieved to see them get bounced. Absolutely. And they played well, but it was like, I mean, I saw when Donovan Mitchell shooting them rainbow threes. I'm like, man, he's playing well. Yeah. They're out of there. <laughs> They're out of there. Listen, I'll tell you what, NBA don't particularly want to see uh Phoenix go to the finals either. I'm Phoenix is gonna you. be a good draw though. No. Against against the uh Clippers? Listen, if it's Phoenix, well, yeah, in the Western Conference Finals, that's fine. But like if the finals end up being like Phoenix versus the Hawks. Oh, no, no, no. Uh-uh. Nobody wants to watch that. No, nah, like, no. Nah. Nah, no, nah. thanks. Because no one sees Phoenix games. That's right. the thing. Like, even, I, even it snuck up on me. I'm like, dang, Phoenix is this good? Like, the Hawks I, wasn't even supposed to be able to do all this. No. The, with the Hawks' problem, I can say problem. The good thing about the Hawks with them is they're too young to realize the position they're in. Yeah. Because, okay, and we, we, we haven't talked about that series. What is, what is the Sixers going to do with Ben Simmons? They gotta do like something's going like he, he it's, got Giannis fatigue or he got Giannis syndrome. No, he like, don't got he don't got Giannis syndrome because I think even Ben Simmons has the he has lesser of a bag than Giannis does. Well, I mean he can facilitate though, but he can't hit free throws. He's I mean, shooting. Giannis he sh- can't hit free throws. True, but at least Giannis is going to the cup and dunking on people. Right, that's where Ben Simmons needs to step it up. Like man, just start attacking. I, I mean, he's not attacking because he don't want to go to free throw line. Does he got a twitch? Got hit. <laughs> I don't know what he got. I just know he's, he's, I just know he's shooting twenty two percent from the free throw line. Like, remember Markel Fultz had that thing? <laughs> you keep talking about that. Really? You know <laughs> <laughs> it was a very weird time. He's gotten over that. Yeah, he has. You know, he, what was going on? I don't know. We don't know. There we- <laughs> was it Tourette's? I don't know. It was it was a twitch. I don't know. It's like it's kind of like in baseball how some shortstops go through this thing where they can't throw the ball to second base. Like you're right there. Right. But it's like they, it's weird. They can't throw it there. I forget. I think Chuck Knobloch had that syndrome. Well, he had to literally throw it underhand because he couldn't throw it overhand. <laughs> <laughs> he just chucked it like into the right field every time he threw it. Every time he tried. Just... And, it, and it, no one talked about it. it but like... anywhere else he could get it there, no Exactly. And it was, I don't know. Something mentally. Yeah. Ben Simmons, I wonder what the Sixers are going to do with Ben Simmons. So that series is going seven games. Embiid is out there playing very well, but I, I, I he, he hits the four too much. Simmons is a liability. Yeah. He, they're doing hack of Ben. They're hacking him. They were just fouling him. He's like, you're a guard, bro. Yeah. You know? And, like, I get oh, when Shaq couldn't hit free throws, I get it. He's a seven-foot dude. His hands are super big. The ball looks – Ben Simmons is a guard. And you cannot – 6'10". Still. Yeah. You got to shoot free throws. Yeah. You know? I agree. I mean, you got to you got to shoot free throws, man. Make Get your game a little better. But I don't know. I wonder what they're going to do. I don't know who's going to win that series. But the big series tonight, like you said, Milwaukee – and uh, ISO gang. I'm rooting for ISO gang. I think they can do it. KD's going to go nuclear again, hopefully. Yeah. Harden, if, uh, another thing, too, with Milwaukee. They just got to stop Middleton. That's like that's the key yeah. to stopping the Bucks. As long as Middleton doesn't have a good game, which traditionally he has not had a good game he hasn't. in Brooklyn. But so. he also has been a second, um, the second option on them when they go to Milwaukee, when they go to uh, Brooklyn, too. Milwaukee has to run it through Middleton. If they run the game through Middleton, like Giannis just be a complimentary player to him, uh, they will win. Yeah. You know, but 
I, I'm, like I said, I, because I'm rooting for Brooklyn, I hope they don't figure that out. Budenholzer, if you watch this, don't watch the pod. Just skip away because he's going to get fired even if they win because he's, <laughs> he's an awful coach. Yeah, yeah. I don't understand why you don't want to put your stars in a position to succeed. I just don't get it, but yeah. whatever. Um, but the playoffs have been pretty cool. Um, I don't like all the injuries. I don't like all this. Uh, yeah, it's low key a fluke season. And Absolutely. Unless, uh, unless Brooklyn and that's when, man. It was totally legit. Then it was totally right. Yeah. Well, I don't have anything hip hop wise. Anything going on? Uh, a lot of music came out. We that review. Migos album was fire. We're gonna get some reviews going. Yeah, because we got her dropped her album today. Yeah, this week. I know you're going to wait to crap on that. Um, yeah, like I said, Migos. Um, yeah, uh, Tyler next week. Tyler, Tyler next, next week. Some of those came out. We got Lloyd Banks came out. Yeah, Lloyd Banks came out. Yeah, we had a lot of good music that came Listen, out. That Migos album was. You keep talking way about better. it. Okay. Way better than I expected. Yeah, I think that's what it was. It, it shocked you. That well, was Culture so good. Two was trash. It and was the uh, solo project that was eh. Yeah. 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 But no, Culture Three. It's actually very good front to back. I was very surprised. Okay. Very surprised. Takeoff is special, man. Yeah. He's special. He is, but he's the one that's always forgotten because he don't have he much is. going on. Well, it's because when he does interviews, he talks in ad libs, and it's a little weird. <laughs> it's, it's a little, it's a little, it's a little he talk, weird. He talks in ad libs. He does. Yeah. Respectfully. Yeah. Okay. Because I don't want. I don't well, want you, yeah. <laughs> Cap. Yeah. Rory and Maul came back. Yes, thank yeah. God. It's yeah. good too. It is good. Uh, the the show today, like I, I do think that they need to find their rhythm a little bit, they which will. every podcast does. But, yeah, exactly. But I told you, I realized something after watching it and also thinking about it over time. Maul was a star. Oh yeah, he was the star of the podcast. Yeah, Joe's holding him back. Absolutely. Yeah. And, I, and like I'm watching him in this space, and it's like okay, he's clearly you can see Rory taking the back seat. Yeah, and you see him Maul because Maul can just talk to people. He has that relationship. That was know? also why when it was all going down. Joe was trying so hard not to lose. Ball. Yeah, he was. <laughs> he was yeah, screw Rory. Right. But, I don't really care what happened but to Maul, Rory. We're but Maul, we're friends. <laughs> Maul, come back. How could you ever let Rory get between yeah. us? Just, Absolutely. Come back, Maul. Yeah, yeah. I do think they got a good thing going, man. They did. They launched at the same time, too. Yeah. I got the alert. Doing at the, way better than JVP. Yeah. We'll see how long that lasts. Like, yeah. You know what I mean? I know JVP's it's been bad, man. Oh, it's been awful. It's been very I look, bad. Like, listen, I start because I, I, was, I was getting ready for the uh, for the show. Like, that... First of all, that, I don't know if I've ever told you. This is how I listen to podcasts. Like, mm-hmm. I, I don't listen to them all the way. It's usually whenever I'm about to get showered and dressed for the day, I put on a podcast, I hop in the shower, listen to the podcast, get out, do my, you know what I'm saying, get get fresh. Mm-hmm. And then uh, once I'm dressed, I turn it off. And then I save it and I just kind of listen to Tell it throughout the week. Okay. But uh, so I went to go start the, because I, I haven't been finishing the Joe Bud podcast for anything yeah, to save either. my life. Yeah. Matter of fact, I've been avoiding listening to it wherever I could. Bro, I haven't. Yeah. Yeah. But uh, I, I accidentally started it today. Mm-hmm. And then I looked at the topics list. And I because, uh, uh, yeah, I looked at the topics list. I was like, I don't want to hear any of this. I cut it off and I went back to Lupe and Royce, which has actually been surprising. They've been cool. very good. Yeah. It's They've been, been very, very good. They, we, we talked about them before, though. Once they hit their stride and they kind of understood, yeah. they got it. Cause they, and I think the uh, the guy they have on, I forget his name, he's like the perfect punching bag. Tom. And, Tom. Yeah. Because Tom, but but they respect Tom, of course. Yeah. But yeah, Lupe and Royce, I want to hear what they have to say. Bro, that uh, Detroit versus Chicago episode, I don't know if you listened to I that I listened to that one yet. That one is absolutely hilarious. Okay. They were trying to figure out who was from the better city. And it was like, it was just like a great synergy where it felt like it was like none of it was rehearsed, uh-huh. and it, it feels like the conversation just came up totally off the cuff. But it actually turned out to be a great and hilarious conversation. Okay, and then they could also have really deep or uh, you know just intellectual conversations. Like this week, they're speaking with uh, with a, a priest about you know some of the concepts of religion and the, you know the changes and similarities and okay. the story of Jesus and all that oh, stuff. Wow. It was just absolutely brilliant. That has actually been one of the best podcasts outside of the Games Music Black podcast oh, yeah, for sure. that I've listened to in quite some time. Yeah, 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 for sure. Yeah. Okay. All right, I'm going to check it out. JVP sucks, though. And yeah, gosh. Shout out to Roy and Maul. That one's really good. Yeah, that it, one. I don't want to know. What, what exactly are they doing? No, like, is I don't know. Is it a podcast? Because then they had that, but see, that's what they had I told that you. conversation today. I don't really know. Uh, bro, that's all I was trying to say. Like, the, I don't know if it's going to flame out. I don't know what they're going to do. Because they got a small window. Yeah, well, they don't have any direction right now. None. They have no direction. <laughs> that's what I'm saying. Like, I get, because the one, the one dude that was on there that was doing all the talking, isn't that the, uh, he's the manager of, uh, what's her name? What's that? So, uh, what's her name? Summer, not Summer Street. Summer Walker? Isn't that Summer Walker's manager? I don't know. Okay, I thought whatever. that was all three artists. It was, uh, it was. Uh, Boogie? Boogie. Uh, Earl, Earl Sweatshirt. Earl Sweatshirt was high as a kite. Yeah, like, he, he, was, <laughs> he was completely torched in at the one background. Point, like, he, at one point, they was like, they went to him for an introspective thing. Uh, he made no sense. He was like, yeah, 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 that's something else. And we're like, okay. And it's kind of like, yeah, he's <laughs> baked. Let it go. And then the last guy, he was another artist, I thought. I thought, no, I think that's what your name is, manager. Oh, maybe. I Justice. I think that's yeah, Justice. Justice. Yeah, that's yeah, what your name is. Yeah, I have no clue. Yeah, that's what you know. Yeah. Um, 
But all right, man, nothing else really going on. You got anything else? Uh, no, man, just happy Juneteenth, man. Get out Happy there. Father's Day to everybody happy out Father's there, too. Day. Father's Day is a real Almost holiday. Almost got forgotten again. Yeah, wow. see? Wow, yeah. 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 Good catch. But no, today is Juneteenth. Tomorrow is Father's Day. So we're going to celebrate Juneteenth today. Y'all ain't yes. just going to uh, just package everything all together and just, you know what I'm saying, make us run with it. Yeah. But I got to... Never mind. Well, you know what? Next year, because Juneteenth is now a national holiday, so I expect to see like Mario Kart Juneteenth shirts, shirts next year, too. Yeah. I want one, because they're going to commercialize it. Juneteenth. No. Yes, they are. Make sure you buy from black-owned businesses for Juneteenth. Yeah, maybe I'll make one. Yeah. Buy, right, for, right. buy from Games Music Life. We'll have the Juneteenth Games Music Life merch right. next year. We'll so black, y'all keep, keep we'll, looking we'll, out we'll, We're Black Mario. All right? We're going to take it off. <laughs> well, yo, yo, we people, this is Nate here. This kid. Hey, yo, we are Games Music Life. This is the Games Music Life podcast, episode 259, man. Drink more water, people. Peace. Peace.